Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh oh. I rolled on top of my cord. Anyway, hi everybody. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got the hiccups. That's embarrassing. <laughs> welcome back. Uh, sorry I didn't stream yesterday. I was not feeling so good. I'm, you know, still not operating at 100%. But we're gonna be fine, and it's gonna be fine, I think. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. <laughs> uh, I, Corey, and Little Blue, thank you for the subs, both of you. Um, that's three people, sorry. <laughs> All three of you. Uh, and Laven, thank you for the 12 months. So if you missed it, we are doing a shell challenge right now. Um, it is the Yeehaw Shell Challenge from about two weeks ago, and we're going to tour these shell builds today. Um, when we do these shell challenge tours, I ask everyone to put their EA gallery username um, and then put the like point redemption in chat. So that's how I can search you is by searching your username. Um, and I will tour them at random. So just so we're all on the same page, um, I, I'm not gonna like tour yours just because you asked nicely. <laughs> I know that sucks, but like there's a lot of people and it's just not possible to tour them all on stream. Um, so that's why we do random selection because that way it's like more fair to everybody. I know it sucks. Like I know that you want to, me to see yours, but um, we do what we can to make it fair for the stream. You know, does that make sense? Um, so anyway, <laughs> hopefully you get it. Um, I, there's going to be a lot of point redemptions in the chat today. <laughs> so um, it'll, it'll be good. We'll have a long list and then we will tour your builds and stuff throughout the stream. Um, Sterling and Blue and Tori and Shella with the 48 months and Miss and Flute and Bat and Redeemer. Thank you all for the subs and bits. Hopefully I did not miss anything. You didn't get done with your shell? I know, it's hard. Um, I finished mine. I built this with the shell. Uh, so it's gonna be kind of fun to see what you all did. <laughs> uh, to compare them, because this is what I made. But I assume that they are all very different. Um, so it should be kind of fun to, to see what everybody's been up to and stuff with it. We do have bingo card. I'll show it to you in a second. Um, I want to give people a chance to come in so that way we can see everything. Um, Naive and Curly Fries and Kaz and Moosey and Alien and Shark. Uh, we got Shauna. Thank you, Standard, Mad Flat, Lottie. Oh no, did I miss anything else? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, did you make a family as well, like Sims 4? That's pretty cool. Did you have fun? The goal with the shell is always, I hope, <laughs> for you to feel inspired to build something um, and for you to have fun with it. So uh, if you if you enjoy it, that's the best case scenario. If you feel like inspired to make Sims and stuff for it too, that's really cool. Um, so I'm glad. Your yellow not so berry Sim just had a cardiac explosion. Oh no. Oh, that hits a little close to home. My not so berry Sim just had a cardiac explosion a couple days ago. <laughs> I killed my legacy heir. <laughs> no, her husband killed her by cheating on her. It was his fault, not mine. She was mad and I don't blame her. However, dying over it seems like a little like, you know, maybe you took it too far, you know? Yes, princess died. It's, we've been going through a lot. Anyway, here's the bingo card. <laughs> I, I took a bingo card that we had used at some point last year, um, and I edited it a little bit, so hopefully it's good still. Um, but I only changed a couple of the things. So when we do these shell challenge tours, I like to make a little bingo card um, with like a list of things we might see. Um, <laughs> and then we mark them off as we do it and maybe we get bingo. It doesn't matter. There isn't like a bad thing if your bill doesn't have these in it. You don't know what the bingo card is gonna have until I make it, you know? So there's no, no way that you could prepare for this. <laughs> um, it's more just like for fun on the side. Um, so the things that I included on this bingo card. Telescope. Castle, because the new kit came out last week. I don't know if anybody did that, but maybe. <laughs> Over 200,000 simoleons. It's a very small shell, so that's gonna be hard to say, but we'll see. Custom art is like when you get art off the gallery. Uh, fake car. Uh, grill, that's an easy one. Pink in all caps, you'll know it when you see it. Pride flag. Plants on the roof. 10 plus packs. Blue. All caps, you'll know it when you see it. Base game, uh, this one is free space. <laughs> the tragic clown painting, which I don't expect to see, but maybe. Farm, and not just any farm, not like, oh, they have a planter box, no, a farm, proper farm. 
Baby Yoda, probably not, but we'll see. <laughs> pond, shark pond, decorative pond, any sort of terrain tools, pond, just pond. Um, a pet room, pet corner, you'll know it when you see it. Not just, I don't mean like, oh, they have a food bowl in the corner. I mean like, they have a dedicated pet space. We always put this on the bingo card and we never find any. <laughs> Graves, on a giant lot, which is fun because it's a small build, so maybe, I don't know. Um, creepy, you'll know it when you see it. Under 50K, so cheaper as opposed to more expensive. A tiny house, because it is possible. Uh, horses? <laughs> and red in all caps. I'm pretty sure that I made this bingo card originally and it had the word horse on it before the horse pack came out. I think this might have been like, we knew the horse pack was coming out when I used this bingo card, but it wasn't even out yet. So we were gonna mark off if people added horses in preparation for the horse pack, but I don't know if anybody did a horse thing with this tiny house, so we'll see. <laughs> um, and I shall show you the shell really quick so that you know what we're, we're, what we're working with. Um, and then we'll go look around. I think that is the plan. If you have not entered your shell yet, all you gotta do is, is press the little point redemption in the chat. Um, you'll see the little egg, click on the request to tour your shell button and then give me your username, your like EA username, cause that's how I can search you up. Um, oh, Dan's mic stand just broke. So he can't move his mic because it's broken. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Well, that's no good. Anyway, not my problem. My mic stand is fine. This was the shell. Um, oh, the way the shell challenge works, the way a shell challenge works, is I put up a box on the gallery. Um, looks kind of like this this time. And you would download this and you make it into something. You can pretty much do anything. You can rotate it. You can put it on bigger lots. You can put it on smaller lots. You can move it around. You can put it on like a foundation. You can add half walls and fences and stuff. You can add balconies. You can really do anything. You just can't change these walls. All of these walls gotta stay the same. So everybody that we tour today is gonna have these exact exterior walls, but the houses or the buildings, they're all gonna look very different. Um, I'll show you what I built with mine and then we can start. No, you don't have to be subscribed to get me to tour your shell. Anyone can redeem it's a point redemption. As long as you're following me on Twitch, you should have enough points to redeem it. It costs like 99 points and you get like 300 for following me, so. Um, it's a point redemption. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a little egg with a wig emoji underneath the chat box. You can press that. And if you're still confused, Google like how to use Twitch points. Um, it's the fine, it's the same thing everywhere across everybody's channel, but this is going to be a different emoji. So, okay, let me show you what I built. Um, and again, bear with me. <laughs> uh, we are not going to be able to get to them all. Um, we are only gonna be able to do uh, the ones that we randomly select. There's there's already, I haven't pulled it up yet actually, so I can find out how many there are exactly. Um, but there will be hundreds of them. <laughs> Just says 100 plus right now, because it's not loading properly. Um, but let me, let me click through it all so we can find out how many there actually are. Okay, 400, 450, 500. 550, 650, <laughs> there's 699 total requests right now. Um, so we won't be able to get to all of those today. <laughs> and now it's past 700, so <laughs> we will do as many as we can. <laughs> uh, but there's, it's not gonna do all of them. I'm not gonna make a YouTube video touring them because I didn't post the shell on YouTube this time around. Um, I had too much going on, so I didn't get it up on YouTube this time around. This is what I built with my shell. Um, I tried to do uh, a slightly Japanese inspired build using the Mount Komorebi stuff from Snowy Escape. Um, it looks kind of cool, I think. Uh, I like the blue roof. This is what the inside looks like. We've got like a small dining area, living room. Uh, I like the kitchen the best. They have a small bedroom downstairs and then upstairs there's another bedroom and a bathroom. And then in the outside they have like a cool garden. So I quite like this house. I think we did a good job with this. Um, so that's what I built with the shell. Now we gotta see what you built with the shell. <laughs> I did see the Stardew news. Yes, I did see the Stardew news. Um, the Stardew Valley news is that uh, Concerned Ape, the person who makes Stardew Valley, he's been working on the 1.6 Stardew Valley update. He finished all of the content now he's working on like other things to get it fixed money to release and it will come out in 2024. 
that is the news. <laughs> um, he always drops this like these sorts of huge news things on Twitter in like the most casual small replies. <laughs> um, so it should be kind of fun. I'm looking forward to it because you know I love Stardew Valley. Um, Fungus, I haven't got an, a single clue how many I'll tour today. We're gonna tour a bunch. I'm not gonna tour them all. <laughs> uh, there's like close to 800 requests or something now, so <laughs> it's just not, it's just not gonna happen. We're just not gonna get to them all. We just won't. Um, we'll, we'll have fun and we'll, we'll look at a bunch. And um, I really want to emphasize, you guys, if it's gonna make you upset if I don't tour yours on stream, just don't watch. <laughs> like, if, if you're gonna be upset um, based on like me not getting to yours, I, I won't. Almost certainly I won't, so um, I just don't want anyone to be sad. Like, please don't let it be a sad thing. This, the intention of this is for it to be fun and for us to support each other and, and be inspired by each other's builds uh, and see cool things. The goal isn't for anyone to be upset um, or to be sad or to be mad. Um, and obviously it goes without saying, but if you say something mean about someone else's build, I will ban you. I, no one has yet because I haven't shown anybody's builds yet, but just so we're on the same page, if you are a bully, you will get banned. There's no need to be mean to other people builds, you know? Um, I know that you know that, and most people never are, but <laughs> just in case. So just we got, got it all covered, you know? <laughs> Chris, thank you for the gifted subs, and Cecilia, and Mango, and Kayla, and Laura, and Jinx, and Melly, and Joke. We got Ali, and Kat, and Latina, and Beatrice, and Payne, and Max, um, Hen, and Toon, and Tamara, and Camilla, and Kawaii, and Pancake, and Evil with a Thousand Bits, and Laws, and MC, and Brooklyn, and Lemon, and Zebra, and Call Me Sarah, and Lauren, and Staunchly, and Riot, and Dog, and Bean, and Michaela and Ariel. We got Mossy, Alicia, Petite, uh, Galaxy, Kylie, a criminal. Thank you, Mark, Rachel. Thanks for all, all for the subs. I hope, I know I probably missed some in there, but. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you very much. And I think on that note, we should be able to actually begin. Yes? <laughs> okay, let's start with the first one. So the first tour of the stream is going to be Kenny329, their Twitch and their gallery are the same. Let's go take a look. Kenny329. Oh, that's item name, sorry. <laughs> Kenny329. <gasps> pink. This house is the perfect place for every pink loving, plant loving maximalist. Complete with a greenhouse to grow your own plants. It even hits all the three Ps. <laughs> pink, plants, and p clutter. <laughs> Excellent reference. <laughs> okay, so maybe it doesn't fit into some cute phrase, but it's still a cute house. <laughs> oh, I really like that. <laughs> there is a bingo this time. Yeah, we just went over it. I'll show it again once we mark off this one. Um, let's go look at the house first. I believe that they are in Copperdale. So we shall go and take a look. Is that one 20 by 15? Uh oh, I gotta eliminate them. Sorry. Go away. <laughs> Let me grab this. Here is Kenny's build. Let us go and see. <laughs> I'm really excited. I think um, the reference, by the way, if you haven't been here for our Shell Challenge tours uh, before, we we joke about how everyone um, usually has the three Ps, pets, plants, and ponds, um, which is like, you know, dedicated pet spaces, lots of plants everywhere, and, uh, you know, terrain tool ponds, but also, you know, murderous shark ponds. In this case, P clutter <laughs> is the third P. Perish is also one of the P's, like, you know, dying. This is beautiful. I like the pink roof trim and the pink accents. I also love the fairy lights they have hung up. They have this beautiful garden on the side. Sorry about the lighting of this world. Copperdale is, you know, Copperdale. <laughs> It is how it is. I love this though. That's really pretty. So they've got like a little side door back here and it's decorated so nicely with the landscaping. Okay, let's look inside. When you first come in, it looks like you walk into the living room. Lots of pink everywhere. We've got a really pretty kitchen. Oh my God, this with the plants. That's good. And they have a little kitchen downstairs like this. I love your open shelves. Look at this, look at this. They took the dine out plant and they put it inside of the pitcher from Cottage Living. So the, there's plants in the pitcher. That is so cute. <laughs> I really like the shelves you did. Look at this. Oh, sorry. I thought they made that. Never mind. <laughs> I 
didn't notice that plant was included on the shelf. This they put on. This plant is always there. I was like, how did they make that? <laughs> no, this shelf is nice. That's cottage living. It's a good one. Okay, downstairs we do have a small bathroom, it looks like. Very cute. We also have the greenhouse downstairs. So you've got all your plants in here. I like the hanging plants. And then when you go upstairs, we've got a little hallway with some bookshelves and stuff. And then a nice big bedroom. This is really pretty. I like the, like all the pretty floral stuff and the little clutter they've gotten too. That's so cute. I never use this. This is one of the plants from the Blooming Rooms kit. I, I never, ever, ever, ever use this one. I don't really know why. I just don't really ever pick it, but it's kind of cool. I need to make more of an effort with it. I don't know why I don't use it because it's nice. I like how the roof shape is too. It's always fun to see how other people do the roofing because this shell's kind of weird with the diagonals. So <laughs> this looks really good. Okay, bingo card. So here's the deal on the bingo card. Oh, I just closed my own Twitch chat. I can't see you. Come back. Okay, sorry, we're back. <laughs> on the bingo card, come back. <laughs> um, we had to think, figure out, sometimes it's a game, right? We only can cross off one thing per build. So even if somebody had like three things, we don't cross off all three. Um, in this one, I think we have to cross off pink in all caps. Like, it's a must, you know? They, they even said it's pink. Pink. <laughs> so I think we cross that off. I love this one. This one was built by, let me pull it back up. Um, that was built by Kenny329 on the gallery, if you're ever looking for it, by the way. Um, that was the first shell that we got to winter, yes. I guess we toured mine, if you want to count mine. <laughs> but now we're, that, was this, that was the first one from someone in chat. Um, okay, the next one is from Kitten Panda Arts. Kitten Panda Arts, and their gallery name is just Kitten Panda. Ooh, ooh, I love Tudor style builds. Okay, a small Tudor style family home with a beautifully overgrown garden. The roof was a nightmare. <laughs> No, and once you figured it out, your game got stuck on the save screen, so you had to redo it. Oh, The Sims 4 is a curse. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I've been having a lot of the, like, getting stuck on the save screen glitches recently, too. Um, I've had similar problems, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> if you want me to tour yours, there is a point redemption you can put in the chat. I'm telling you now, there's been like 800 point redemptions. So do with that information what you will. I won't get to everybody's. <laughs> uh, but if you did build one, you can redeem the point thingy in chat. Oh my gosh, the flowers are beautiful on this exterior. I've never thought to use these. These are the stained glass windows from the rent pack and they use them here on this build. They use the rent pack, the, the like roof trim too. That actually works really nicely together. I really, really like that. And no, I tour them randomly once was left. If I did them in order, nobody would have a chance. <laughs> um, so we tour them randomly. If There's no way we could do it in order. Cause then, you know, the last 775 people wouldn't get a chance to have it toured. So we do it randomized. Um, this is one of my favorite debug plants in the entire game. Absolutely stunning. Okay, and then on the back, oh, dare I say, this might be a farm. They do have proper farm stuff. They even have bees and they've got like storage. We got the flower arranging table. They have chickens. When you combine chickens and farm, Crops, sorry, chickens and crops. <laughs> that is a farm. I think we can cross off farm on our bingo card, but we'll hold off just in case anything else is inside. I love this with the, the birdhouse thing. Okay, so when you come inside, it looks like, ooh, pretty open floor plan. When you first come inside, we've got a little entrance, and then over here, we've got a place to hang up your coats. They've got a dining table. Uh, we've got the dog bowl and a toy. I love the location of the kitchen. I think it looks so cool when you put the kitchen cabinets up against the stairs. I like how open it is. I don't know, I think it's really pretty when it's like that. We also have my new favorite shelf from the rent pack. <laughs> it's so good. They have a little like mudroom sort of vibe down here because you can store your stuff when you come in from the outside. Um, and then when you come this way, they have their pretty living room and like a little desk nook. 
It's really hard to do with this weird diagonal wall space. It's hard to do the, the floor plan. You've all done a good job so far of like how to lay it all out, you know? <laughs> and it's so fun how different this is because they used a different side of the house as the front than I did, obviously. Um, I had a bedroom here in my build, just to give you an example of like how opposite it all is. And my kitchen was like right here. I don't know, it's cool. You wouldn't even know that it's the same shell when you look at it, because it's so different. <laughs> okay, and then when you come up the stairs, uh, they managed to fit in two bedrooms up here. We've got a little kid's bedroom. I like the red and the blue color scheme. That looks pretty good, actually. I had never thought of using the reddish beds from Dream Home Decorator to like match the red accent on this wallpaper. I think that's kind of cool. I like that. And then they have a bathroom and an extra bedroom upstairs. How they managed to fit three rooms up here is amazing to me. The last person had one room upstairs. Isn't that cool though, just how different they all are? And this one kind of has like a red and green color scheme going on. I like how the curtains match these accent pillows. That's pretty cool. Oh, I love how they put the, the table at the end of the bed as well, so they can have the TV there. Your shell was three bed, two bathroom. You barely managed to fit one. See, isn't that so funny how different it is? Like some people managed to get three bedrooms. I have, I had two bedrooms in mine. Um, two bed, one bath was mine. But, oh, and there's a half bathroom right here. Oh my gosh. So it's a two bathroom, two bedroom house. If you wanted to, you could put like laundry or an extra bathroom down here even. I didn't even notice this part. That's amazing. I'm really impressed that they were able to fit that there. That's pretty cool. So there's four rooms upstairs. <laughs> and saying that, the this hallway is actually quite big. Like there's, it's not only a one tile wide one, I mean, you know? That's pretty cool. The kids room reminds you of a certain platypus. Who, Perry? Really? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Okay, this one was built by Kitten Panda on the gallery. Um, I think for this one, I'm gonna cross off farm. And just to remind you again, it, it's not a problem if the build doesn't have things for the bingo card. The bingo card is like a side quest. No one knows what's gonna be on the bingo card before they build it. So like, it's not a problem if yours doesn't have these things. Does that make sense? I don't want anybody to be like, well, there's nothing from the bingo card and then like bully somebody, you know? <laughs> it doesn't matter. The bingo card is, is our side quest. Unrelated to what you have done. <laughs> it's about what I have done. <laughs> Yours was two bed, one bath as well? Yeah. You've got a large library nook? Oh, cool. How would you make it a tiny house? I think that by default, it's enough tiles for it to be a tiny house. Um, you just can't have extra flooring outside. This one cannot be a tiny house. What am I doing? Tiny home residential. And this one's over a hundred tiles, but if I got rid of, I'm sorry to destroy your build. Um, you see that by default, it's 95 tiles. So uh, it could be a tiny house if you did not add extra flooring. So someone may have made theirs a tiny house. I don't know if anyone did, but someone may have. <laughs> so you sunk yours into the ground. Cool. I love seeing what people do with it all. Um, how do I put this on the bingo card? I don't know, just vibes, Camilla. Earlier before I went live, I was just typing stuff. <laughs> There's not a lot of method to the madness of the bingo card. I was just like putting stuff on there. So, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, next one. Um, so the next person we're gonna tour is Holly Emma O2. Holly Emma O2. And their gallery name is Holly Stardew. English cottage reno? Partly renovated English cottage with kitchen extension? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to Hanford on Bagley. That's cool. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Where am I going? Hanford on Bagley, please. Now you're scared I'll tour your shell? Wait, why are you scared? No, it'll be it would be fun. It would be fun. Please don't be scared. Don't look at it like a bad thing, I swear. Um, I swear. <laughs> no, you don't need to have a description or anything. You don't need to have a description or anything, Robin. Don't worry. Some people do, some people don't. Doesn't matter. Okay, first of all, this front with the, the car park and stuff is really cool. I love the fence you've put around it. And I really like that you've got the parking over here. That is so cool. 
Um, beautiful. We I built this shell like two weeks ago. I think it, I posted it on the gallery on the twelfth, uh, and today's the twenty sixth. So they had a little bit over two weeks um, to do it. So this is like an English cottage with a modern extension. Very cool. Very 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 cool. I think that's so fun. I love that you've done that. Okay, so they have some plants back here. We've got like a little seating area and some bikes. I love that you have the big door there in that modern edition and this pretty fairy light setup. Also, you've put a lot of like really nice rounded pieces. These are debug fence pieces, but it looks really good there. We also have a little greenhouse setup. That's so cute. Is it a tiny house? No, it's just regular residential. Okay, okay, ready? Let's go inside. So when you come in through this front door, they made this into like a separate entryway. You walk in, we can go up the stairs or we can come inside. Over here, we've got like a little nook for reading and they've got an easel. Uh, we have this cute living room space with the fireplace. I love how they have the debug remote. <laughs> it's like the, the simplest of things, but having the debug remote is so fun. <laughs> So we have like this little setup, you watch the TV, we've got some more book storage, we've got kind of like an old painting. Um, over here, we've got like a mudroom type room, utility room maybe, and they've got all their laundry and cleaning supplies and the, the washing machine. Um, and then when you come around this way, on this side, they've put the kitchen in that modern extension. This is a cool floor plan. I like how you've done that. I could totally see this happening in real life. Like people building out, like when they renovate the house, they build an extension on and then they put like a fancy updated modern kitchen in the new extension, you know? That's kind of fun. Like maybe in the old days, this was the kitchen and then they've like changed it into a utility room and then built a new one. <laughs> I love that. I think that's really cool. I think it's so fun to like, play like that in The Sims, you know? Obviously you don't need to in The Sims because you can do anything, but I just think that's cute. Anyway, upstairs. <laughs> we've got a carpeted upstairs, also very realistic. They've got a little desk in the hallway. Uh, we've got one big primary bedroom. I like that pink color. And then we've got a little kid's bedroom as well and a bathroom upstairs. Ooh, this is cool. I like the glass roof. I hadn't even noticed that. <gasps> Pond! Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I really like the outside of this. That's so cute. What a fun idea. And how different is it from everything else? Oh, look at this. They built the trash can in the little square. Okay, so in my shell, in my in the shell on the gallery, there's a weird one by one room. They put a half wall here to like extend it out and make it look less weird with the roof. <laughs> That's actually a half wall piece. And they hid the trash can in there. Oh, that's really good. I really love that. Okay, I have a question. In my own build today, I assume, maybe I'm wrong, if the person who built this is here, uh, Holly, if you're still here, did you make this like match? And then did it change when I downloaded it from the gallery? Because in my build today, I downloaded my own, um, I was doing a tour, filming a tour of this and the door had the wrong swatch when I got it off the gallery and I thought that I did it wrong and maybe I messed it up, but now I'm thinking that it's a glitch because I had this door glitch literally this morning. Yeah, it's supposed to be white. That's so weird that it's happening like that. I didn't, I didn't realize that was a common bug. Huh. Yeah, so apparently um, when you place down the door from the greenhouse kit, it changes on the gallery. Who knows? <laughs> that is really weird. Um, that is really, really weird. Well, at least we know about it now. Um, it's, it's nice that we've confirmed it, that it's not just us. Yeah, and it's just the door. It isn't the windows, it's just the door. But I had the same thing, because in, in my Blue Suburban build, I had like the, um, you know, like the, the screen doors, and then the door itself looked like that. And I was like, I didn't do that. And no, I didn't do that. The game did that, it's a glitch. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Let's cross off something on the bingo card. We do have a couple options. They have a grill. We can only cross off one thing per build. I'm not gonna cross off grill because that's gonna be easy to find somewhere else. I'm torn between fake car and pond. Which one do you think we will be more likely to see again? I'm not too worried about the price either. I, I wonder, I don't know if people will have a lot of fake cars in this one or if they'll have a lot of ponds. I don't know. 
You think we'll see pawns again? Okay, maybe I'll cross off fake car. Are we leaning towards fake car? Uh, people put a lot of pawns. Pawns are like, that's why they're, it's one of the three Ps. It's because everybody puts pawns in, our, in their builds for this. And fake car is in a corner spot, which is probably more useful, like practically, because then it affects, I don't know, not that it matters, but I've, I'm feeling better about this row than about this row, you know? I know the more you say pond, the less real it sounds. <laughs> it's like all of a sudden pond is like a fake word. <laughs> okay, I crossed off fake car. Let's go to the next one. I loved this build. They've all been so good. You're all so good at this. <laughs> that was built by Holly Star Do on the gallery if you're looking for it. Like Star D-O Do. Um, okay, so the next person that we're going to tour is Marmalade Addict and their name is SWAT70 on the gallery. I'm randomizing them um, to meet her when I pick them. We're doing it randomly to give everybody an equal shot. Library! Oh, cute! <laughs> I love that. Okay, this is our first community lot of the of the day. Um, it looks like this is in Mount Komorebi? Maybe? Am I imagining that? Is that Newcrest? It's in Newcrest, sorry. I was looking at the tree. I confused myself. Um, it's over here. <laughs> okay, let's go take a look. Fun! I like that you built a community lot so tiny. I think it's fun. I like these two lots in Newcrest for community lots a lot. I like to put like a tiny restaurant and stuff on these two lots in Newcrest. Um, this is what the library looks like. That's so fun! I really love, honestly, Growing Together has some really good stuff for community lots. These signs that come in Growing Together are so good. I really love that. I have a fun story about that too. I've already told this on the stream, so I'm sorry for repeating myself, but um, with those two signs, that was like a later addition to Growing Together because when me and Deli were doing the builds for Growing Together, I was like, hey, it'd be really cool if we had a rec center sign because it's hard to use the base game ones. Like they don't really match. It'd be cool if we had like an actual rec center sign. Um, and then they were like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> and then they made one for the library too. Um, so that's the library one. Obviously you can use it for anything. Um, but those were like last minute additions, not last minute, but like it wasn't the original plan. And then I was like, please, can I have a sign? <laughs> and they gave me a sign. So. <laughs> Um, kind of fun. Okay, anyway, here's the outside of this building. They've got, it looks like a cool sculpture and some fun like plants on the wall and stuff. I love this landscaping. I think that this part looks so cool with the plants around the sign. I'm sorry, I keep talking about the sign. <laughs> I just like it. It's a nice item. It matches so, so well. Um, and then when you come inside, it looks like you walk straight in. We have some bookshelves downstairs. Uh, we've got a little front desk uh, so you can like check in and out your books and stuff. They do have a bathroom downstairs. They've got a kids section. Oh my God. <gasps> Wait, I haven't used these bookshelves in the middle of a room yet like this, but with a rounded end piece, are you kidding? Oh, that's so good. I haven't, I, I just usually put these like in corners, you know, or if I want to have them like next to each other on the wall, that looks really good. Okay, write that down too. <laughs> write that down, write that down. I love that. I love kids sections in libraries and the Sims. It's so fun to build. I just love decorating this kind of thing. Okay, and then when you come upstairs, we've got a bunch of desks and a bunch of extra bookshelves and stuff. This is so useful. This is such a great like community lot to have access to for your Sims. I like this, the sign, it's kind of fun. Anyway, it's, it's libraries are probably, this is gonna sound weird, but like probably my most used community lot because I when I play a lot of like rags to riches type challenges, you don't have anything, you need computers to do so many of the skills in this game. So um, I come to the to the libraries a lot and this is a nice like small one to fit in places. This is by Marmalade Addict in chat. Their name is SWAT with two T's 70 on the gallery. That is really, really cute. I don't think I put anything about community lots on my bingo card. It is under 50,000, right? Yeah, it's 43,000. We could cross that off on the bingo card. Yeah, it's a library. Isn't that fun? I could cross this off. Um, we'll find some more uh, limited pack builds. Don't worry. I love the front desk too. There's so many good library things in this game with the little cart and everything. I love that. Okay, well, we've crossed off the next thing. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm going fast. I am kind of trying to because I want to get through as many as we can. It's hard because like, <laughs> how do you, you know, judge judge it or juggle it, sorry. Because um, there's just, 
you want to like dedicate time, but you also want to get to a bunch and then, you know, it's just hard. Okay. Oh, Millie319 is who's next, but they said any mods build maybe. I don't know if any mods did the build this time around. Did anybody? Oh my god. Rochella just told me to not look at something until after stream, but I already looked at it. Me and Shella have sneaky, secretive plans. <laughs> Me and Shella have sneaky plans. I'm gonna show them to you tomorrow, I think. Um, but you, I think, will like them. So... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, did, are you saying that Christine did a build then? Because I could tour Christine's. Um, okay. I think Christine just left as well. <laughs> Christine has plans tonight. That's okay. Um, we will tour anyway. Typical base game house. Why does that make me think it's not going to be a typical base game house? Well, maybe it is a typical base game house. This base game house has all the essentials for happy base game living. There's space for a kid and a toddler upstairs with the primary bedroom on the first floor, a spacious living room and kitchen. We've got a patio for entertaining. There's only one bathroom, but in this market, who's complaining? <laughs> I do I do feel suspicious of um, just generally, I don't know. I don't trust that it is a typical base game house, but we'll see. <laughs> It's not base game, it has the party pack. Oh, I count the party pack as being base game. It's not the party pack, it's the holiday free pack. It's free, so it it still counts. Um, let's go look. It's giving creepy. It makes me think there's gonna be something creepy. I think that we're, I, I, maybe I'm overthinking it, but I don't know. It's making me feel like I'm gonna see something creepy in here. <laughs> Her calling it typical makes me feel distrusting, but it might be an actual typical base game house. I love this arch at the front. That's so cute. I like the color scheme too and the little details that we've added. Okay, around the side we've got, oh, look at, you know Christine loves this tomato sign. Christine is one of my mods. Her Twitch name is Mrs. Tomato. So. You know she, you know she was so excited to put that in there. <laughs> in the back, we've got like a little uh, playground area. I like this partial fence. I think that's kind of cool. On the patio, look at this. We've got some like table setups. I never use the tablecloth swatches of these items. I really probably should use them more. I just very rarely pick items that have tablecloths, but it's kind of cute because it's like decorated for for an event, you know. The sign is debug. Uh, if you look in the debug categories, you can find a whole bunch of cute signs like that. Not a whole bunch of signs, but cute stuff like that um, in debug, but it takes some digging to find them. So anyway, we got a grill back here. I like how we've put like a little bit of stone floor terrain paint underneath these, these trash cans too. And then when you come inside, it looks like you walk in the primary bedrooms on the first floor. We've got like some storage, we've got some postcards. I like how we put the shelf above the bed because you can't fit nightstands. So we have a shelf instead. There's some cute debug things, like the decorative eggs are always kind of fun. Um, and then back here we have a small kitchen next to the staircase. Oh, I like this. I feel like I need to work more on my clutter game for my kitchens. I forgot about this debug spice bottle, that's good. Okay, we've got a living room downstairs too with some toys and some little places to hang out. We've got a bonsai tree. And then when you go upstairs, there's two kids' bedrooms. We've got a little toddler's bedroom right here, even with light switches. I like this, the cloud mirror surrounded by the cloud uh, shelves. And then we have a cute little kids' bedroom over here too with the purple. I really like that. This thing is cool. Paper craft ceiling decorations. I never use that. That's like such a fun addition for the kids' bedroom. Huh. Write that down too. <laughs> it's actually a typical base game house. We've all been sat here panicking about what Christine means by typical, but she literally meant typical. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. I was just scared. I didn't know what to expect. People do scary things sometimes. <laughs> I don't think there's a basement. No, I think it's just a, I think it's a house. 
Yeah, this arch is debugged too. A lot of debug stuff um, being used here. What was in the kids' room? What do you mean? In here? This thing is from the holiday, the free holiday pack, but it's free, so. I say that we cross off the... We can cross off base game. Holiday pack doesn't count. It's base game because it's free. Annoyingly, they count it separately, but... Simsy shell that isn't scary? No way, it is kind of small. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, okay, I thought you meant that my shell wasn't intimidating. This build's not scary. No, nothing under the roof. You know what? This is so typical of Christine. She probably said it, she knew what she was doing. She knew she was gonna make us all scared. You know? By calling it typical, and she's not even here to laugh at us for this. <laughs> it's like the suspense for no reason. <laughs> We're all sat here worrying for no reason. <laughs> okay, Caters the cat is the next person. Um, we'll go over and tour theirs next. Okay, she'll laugh when she watches the VOD. Yes, she's, she's gonna see a clip and then laugh at us. Okay, so let's go pull up Caters the cat. Their name on, the, it, on Twitch is the same as on the gallery. Let's go look. Fairy Cottage. A mysterious fairy is said to live in a small, ancient cottage at the top of Henford on Bagley, watching over the land and the animals that inhabit the wilderness. Rumor has it that she has a magical wishing well on her lot that grants the greatest desires to the true of heart. Will you make the daring trek and test it for yourself? Maybe you will even catch a glimpse of the elusive fairy. <laughs> cool! Okay, let's go look at this. I think that's kind of fun. Um, do all of my mods play Sims? Oh! All of them are fans of The Sims. I don't know if everybody plays The Sims regularly. Most do. But you know, some people just want to watch. You know? <laughs> everybody wants to play. Tilly says, I play The Sims regularly in my heart. <laughs> I play Sims all the time, and I'm one of my own Twitch mods, right? Guys, we made the right call by crossing off car and not pond, because look. All right, here is the fairy cottage. I am obsessed with this concept. So over here, it looks like we've got a cute little entrance. It's all gated. You walk over here, we've got some plants all set up. Uh, we've got laundry outside, lots of cute stuff in the yard. And then you come back this way. Look at the fairy house entrance! There's a little fairy door. This is um the like early purchase bonus content from Cottage Living. That is so cute though. And then we have the little birds. We've got a magical wishing well. There's a swing set. In this back patio, look at the picnic table by the pond. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And they got a little pet bowl outside too. I love this. This, so good. Dream come true, truly. I love the water, that's so fun. These things, if you haven't seen them before, these are like VFX um, in build mode. It's like a little square, but in live mode, it's like a swan spawner and like a dragonfly spawner. So you won't see the box, you'll see the little bugs flying around in live mode when the game's unpaused. Um, these are debug crops of the real crops. So it's like the lettuce that your Sims can pick up, but they've put it there as a decoration so that they can you know, custom place them, if you will. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. So when you first walk in, I love the mismatch with the patterns right there, that's so cute. You walk in the front door, we've got like a little staircase up here, kind of a cute cabinet with some magical properties. Uh-oh, <laughs> sorry for yawning everybody. <laughs> the water wheel is debug. Uh, lots of debug stuff in The Sims 4 that people use for the shell tours, so. Okay, tiny, adorable kitchen back here that matches the stained glass window. We've got the back door access right here as well. There's a kind of cute shelf. Around this way, we have a little desk with some magic books on the desk and the cow plant. <laughs> All their pets, the fish and the cow plant. Uh, we've got a small living room. I love this window. This is from Growing Together, Good Together. Sorry, I don't know why I said growing. Wrong G, together. <laughs> uh, but it's like a, a cool bay window type vibe from Get Together. I always loved that one. And this swing set, this one is from the uh, Little Campers kit, right? Hello? Yeah, Little Campers kit, just to be sure. Um, but it looks cool in the, living room, in the living room like that. We've also got some cute decorations up here on the mantel. And then you go upstairs and it's like a one bedroom 
kind of cool fairy bedroom house. Why am I yawning again? Uh oh, sorry everybody. <laughs> now you're all gonna yawn too. <laughs> I love this though. I love the clutter that they've put in. And I like the pretty, the wallpapers they've picked too. There is a bathroom upstairs. I can't get over the outside. Where's the bed from? Oh, this is from Realm of Magic. Um, Realm of Magic has actually a couple really pretty pieces of furniture, but this bed by far is my favorite. There's even a swatch, most of it is floral, but look at this. Come on. Right? Realm of Magic. <laughs> I know you're gonna like it, so <laughs> it's really pretty. The built by in that pack is so good. Okay, I obsessed with this pond and the house being on top of it with the water wheel, that's so good. I am going to cross off pond. We are already close to bingo. That's like a miracle. We just gotta find a castle. <laughs> Here for a little Simpson Mally Turtles. Thank you all for the subs. Thank you everybody for all the subs today. I know I've not been really caught up that well. I'm very distracted and I'm so sorry, but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. You think that a castle wouldn't be too hard to find because the castle pack just came out, but we should see, we shall see. There's a little bit of luck involved because we're doing it randomly. So it's, you can't like confirm it'll happen, you know? We could like accidentally randomize every single person who didn't build a castle. <laughs> okay, Fresh Avocado 111 is next and their name is Ollie9s on the gallery. That person was Caters the Cat, the last one that we just did. Okay, we've got Suburban House from the Simsy Yeehaw Shell. Let's go take a look. We're in a 20 by 20 lot. It looks like in Copperdale. Pretty. It looks cute. Okay, Copperdale, Copperdale, Copperdale. Mm, 20 by 20, is this one 20 by 20? Yes. Let's go see. Caters the cat is the last gallery ID carded. Uh, Kate, E-R-S, the cat. I think cat with a K. Now I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> Uh, okay, here we are. This is the next house. This one was built by Ollie9s on the gallery. Oh, that is cute. I love how they put the, the plants in this little balcony. This is an item, the store of the plants. But that looks pretty good together, doesn't it? I really love that. I love their landscaping. This is a debug flower, and I think it's one of my favorites. <laughs> Copperdale comes with high school years, Babsy. It's the high school years world. I like how they have the wood accents with the white as well, I and mean, that's kind of cool. Okay, around the back though, we've got a small little backyard. I love this fence. Horse Ranch has some really good stuff. We've got a swing set, bird feeder, yoga mat, a little table, a grill. There's even a bar. It's so nice. I always have a hard time fitting in bars to my builds. I need to just like embrace it and put it in places like this because I oftentimes have little like small nooks like this in my yard and I oftentimes just leave it empty. It's so useful to have a bar because like for so many of the careers, like a lot of my sims are chefs, they need the mixology skill. It's just useful to have one in game. So we need to make more of an effort to add that in because that's just smart. It looks good there. I don't know why I never just add one, you know? They can fill some nice random spaces, I think. Okay, ooh. Oh, I like the dark red accents in there. That's kind of cool. Okay, so when you come in, I love this living room. We've got a lot of like industrial loft kit stuff going on. Lots of red with the chairs. Really pretty uh, like TV area in front of the coffee table. Look at this. They took the base game uh, fruit bowl and they put it inside of this. This is, um, is that from Jungle Adventure? No, it's Dream Home Decorator. I don't know why I thought Jungle Adventure. This is from Dream Home Decorator. They they layer, like layered them together, raised it up. That's really smart. That looks like 10 times better than the default fruit bowl does. It's just raised up once. That's really good. Write that down. <laughs> Write that down. I love this bar height table too. And we've got like a small entryway. They sized down one of the tables, it looks like, the console table and they made it like a shoe rack sort of size. That's kind of smart too. And then you come this way, we've got a nice kitchen. I love the black appliances in there. That looks pretty good. We've got some little shelves with some cute clutter. There's a huge bathroom and laundry room downstairs. And then when you go upstairs, we've got a cool loft space. Oh, that's so fun. <gasps> Pride flag, we can cross it off the bingo card. Maybe, we should see what else we have on the bingo card first. I like their gamer setup too, that's kind of good. <laughs> I have a lot of red accents as well. 
I need to be better about using red in my builds. I don't really like the color red, so I don't gravitate towards it, but it actually looks really good in here with like all the brick and the black accents. I think my, I think the kitchen is my favorite part out of all of it. The kitchen and the backyard are so good. No, these kitchen counters are just base game. These are just regular base game counters. Not from any pack or anything. Um, what's wrong with red now? I just don't, don't make fun of me. I just don't like the color red because when I was a kid, I used to be scared of it because it was like blood. So I had these weird superstitions in my head about red. So now as an adult, I'm like, ooh, I don't want to use red in my Sims build, but it looks good in here. So I need to get over myself. Please don't laugh at me. I know it's silly, okay? <laughs> I, I know, I have anxiety. It shows up in mysterious ways. I was like a child, okay? And it's still there. <laughs> okay, so on this build, I think I might cross off, we're probably gonna see a pride flag again, but I'll cross off pride flag for now. Um, we'll cross off pride flag, I think, because they have one upstairs above the bed. Nice. This build was made by Ollie9s on the gallery, by the way, if you're looking for it. And annoyingly, it looks like ads are about to play. Um, so I'll hold off until they stop to pick the next one. They haven't started yet though, so maybe I could pick the next one at least in the meantime. Um, and then I'll wait so nobody misses anything once the once they actually start playing. Okay, the next one is going to be Cow Planty. Oh my god, Cow Planty is a cool username. <laughs> okay, Cow Planty. And they built a cozy writer home. It's a one bed, one bath house for a writing gardening enthusiast who loves dogs. Oh, cool. I wonder if they're gonna have a dog space. Let's go place it. I will not tour if the, oh, the ad started, Never mind. I won't place it yet. <laughs> Sarah and Sorkabeth and Sam and Pancakes and Peanut and Elise and here for Little Simsy, thank you all for the subs. Dan's microphone is completely broken. He said that he had to take it off and rest his mic on his desk because it cracked when he tried to move it. I don't under, not the mic, the stand. The mic would be a way bigger issue. <laughs> the stand is replaceable and affordable. The mic is not so replaceable or affordable, <laughs> but his mic stand is completely busted. That's really bad. I wonder how that happened. I've had the same mic stand since like, literally like 2017, I think. And I've, I have moved with it multiple times. Like I used to bring it to and from my dorm back to my parents' house. Um, yeah, it's like an adjustable one so I can move it, Brew. But the thing that broke on Dan's, it's a desk mount. I can show you. Um, ignore that it looks dusty, okay? Don't bully anybody. Um, but it's like the desk mount broke. So the there's like a pole that sticks into it and this uh, attaches to your desk like that and it's broken there. So it's like falling off and you can't use it anymore. Yikes. Yeah, desks get really dusty, especially when the cats literally sit on the desk pretty much all day. You gotta be constantly dusting your desk when you got cats in the house. This morning, should I show you? Hold on, let me see if it's embarrassing or not. <laughs> if it's embarrassing, I won't show you, but if it's not, then I will. I sent it to my friends, but I don't know if I should show it in front of thousands of people, the picture. <laughs> Um, mm, it's embarrassing. I'm making a weird face. Never mind. It's a picture of <laughs> it's a picture of all three cats on my desk. But you can see me in it because um, I had my OBS open, so you could see like basically this. Oh no, never mind. You can't see that. Imagine you could see face but full cam. Anyway, um, <laughs> all three cats were on my desk earlier. So. Why do I use headphones for stream, but earbuds for YouTube? Um, these are better and I'm sitting here longer and I think of stream as being more casual. I don't really like having a thing on my head in my YouTube videos. I don't know. It stems from like how I used to not want to use real headphones when I, li when I lived alone because I couldn't hear things and I was scared. Now I'm not alone, so it doesn't bother, bother me as much anymore, but I don't know. It's just, I don't want a thing on my head in my videos. I think is the reason, <laughs> um, but it doesn't actually matter. <laughs> I just don't want a thing on my head. Whereas in this case, I don't really, it's more relaxed. <laughs> We're in gamer mode right now, you know? <laughs> okay, Willow Creek, I think. I forget where this build was placed. 
This is cow planty on the gallery. Um, by the way, um, paranoid to use headphones. Yeah, when I was living alone, I would be really, uh, it, I didn't like that I couldn't hear things outside of my headphones. With these ones, I can hear a little bit outside of my headphones and I'm not alone, so I don't feel as scared, but when I was alone, it, yeah, I don't know. It's just, you get nervous. <laughs> Especially cause I had like some issues with people like viewers coming to my house. I just didn't want to have headphones on. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, especially at night, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this house is beautiful, sorry about the creepy detour. <laughs> the house is beautiful, I love this, this color scheme with the gray and that, like, more orangey toned wood. I don't use this color wood very often, um, I find it kind of hard to use with things, but it looks pretty good here. It's a lot of StrangerVille stuff in the build. Um, we've got a lot of big porches too. In the back, they've got, like, a little, um, planter box set up, some bees, they've got a dog and a dog bowl. That's pretty. And then you come inside, oh my gosh, the color scheme in here is beautiful. I like this kitchen layout. I like how they have the half wall right there, like up against the kitchen island, how they've got like a sim working here. Um, and then you can come back, you can cook back here. They've got the fridge and the little nook. We've got a huge dining table. I need to use this rug swatch more. I use on this rug, mostly this swatch, but there's a couple really good ones and that one's kind of cool in here. I like the gallery wall. Look at this with like a little nook for the plant and the stairs. That's kind of cool. It's giving you Sims 3 vibes. Maybe that's why it feels kind of nostalgic to me. Sims 3 vibes, but like in a positive way. <laughs> Sims 3 vibes, but like slash pause, you know? <laughs> Just so we're clear. We mean it in a nice way. <laughs> um, I love this living room too. That's cute. I like the, the record player on the table. I need to use this more often. I keep thinking I will ever since it came out, but I don't really use it very much. I don't really think about putting uh, radios in my builds. I don't really often use them. I should more though, because it's so useful to have. Um, okay, upstairs we've got a little hallway and we managed to fit in a bedroom and a bathroom. So we've got kind of a cute bedroom up here. I like the shelf. I also love this with the red accent back here in this little nook. They've kind of made like a cool closet area. It's fun to try and do like architectural things like this with the span rolls and stuff inside. And we've got a really cute little bathroom upstairs too. I, for a while there, when the bathroom kit came out, I was using these things all the time. This in particular, the toilet mat, reminds me of my grandma's house. The little rug in front of the toilet. I have never purchased something like that in real life, but my grandma has them. So it makes me think of her. <laughs> And I mean that in a nice way as well. So I think that's kind of cool. I like this color scheme. This is pretty. How much does it cost? 40,000? Oh, we already crossed off under 50K, didn't we though? I don't know if we've got anything on this house that we can cross off on the bingo card, but that's not a problem. Not every house will have it. Usually in the beginning, like more houses have it because you know, it's the first thing, <laughs> but then like they start getting crossed off and then, oh, how many packs did it use? I don't know. Oh. Oh, that is more than 10. <laughs> that is more than 10. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're right. I don't think they had a grill, but we'll see a grill on another build. The grill is meant to be like an easy one. Someone will definitely have that crossed off, so. Okay, let's go to the next build. So we are going to tour Vlogging Panda 98. That's the second person with Panda in their name today. What are the chances? Oops. Uh-oh. Oh no. Vlogging Panda. Oh no. Their name on Twitch is Vlogzy Duck. Okay, we got it. <laughs> they they gave me the wrong gallery name, but we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um, this is a shop in Texas. Yeah, big day for the pandas, huh? Okay, let's go take a look at this build. We are gonna put this in Magnolia Promenade. Um, let's go see. Come on. If only the game could load a tiny bit faster. It's not even like not fast. It loads pretty decently fast, but like every second counts in a shell tour stream. Oh, guys, also, I'm so sorry to tell you, I can't stream late tonight because it is Drag Race Day. 
and I have to make dinner before Drag Race starts. So, <laughs> we're on a time crunch. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> okay, here's the store. It is a retail lot. I love this giant money sign. I need to use this more often. This is, um, it's from Get to Work, obviously. It's like one of the, I think it's an unlockable that you can get from Get to Work. Yeah, it's the stunning sign retail perk. Uh, but Stanley Humphrey should have that more often. We need to like put that on his wall or something. <laughs> he would like it. <laughs> okay, okay. So back here, we've got, I like this cool sign too. They've put this up on, this is like the, um, oh, I can't click on it. This is like the, the reinforcement beams from Get to Work and they put a sign on it. I had a phase where I was like obsessed with these, these metal beams. When Get to Work came out, I was like, I'm gonna build all kinds of converted factories. <laughs> and I was obsessed with these things. I was putting them everywhere and I haven't really used them in ages since, but. Maybe we should try and do something like that again. Cause we could try and use like the industrial loft kit and get to work together. Oh, I'm writing it down. That could be kind of cool. I haven't built something like that in a while. We could get like a really cool loft renovated house or something. Um, okay, anyway, down here. <laughs> in the back, they've got a cute kid's space. I love all the toys. They've got pizza. Okay, and inside, what do we sell in this store? Perhaps a variety of things? They probably sell Void Critter stuff. Oh my God, they sell Void Critter packs. They sell Void Critter packs and then posters, probably. Oh yeah, Werewolves has good stuff too for, for the factory thing. Okay, I wrote it down, it's on the list. Maybe we'll build that tomorrow because we are gonna do a build tomorrow. We could do that. Um, okay, anyway, Void Critters, that's so cute. And then when you come upstairs, they've got some of the like little figurines and stuff with the nifty knitting things. I love how there's like all these cute penguin and like little decor items. This is fun. I need to use retail stuff more often. Cause I don't really ever build retail stores and there's just some cute stuff from this pack, you know? Like it's just fun to have. I, I really don't ever have my Sims go shopping, but you can find a lot of stuff like that. I used to have, um, I would take my Sims before they got married. I would go, I would like renovate the, um, which one? That one. I would renovate this and put like wedding dresses in it. And I would have my Sims go shop in there and try on wedding dresses in person. Just as like a cute thing to do. And I haven't done that in a while. So we need to make more of an effort with that. Um, it's, it's nice. I like this, this is cute. Especially the money sign. <laughs> money sign is the main thing. <laughs> Best part. That was built by Vlogzy Duck. Uh, Vlogzy, like vlog, V-L-O-G-Z-Y, duck on the gallery, if you're looking for it. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Uh, we're gonna do ghost onions. Do you think they'll have ghosts in their build? Fairly odd fairy cottage. What are the chances of that? Two fairy cottages? In, like, almost in a row? People are, they're trying to tell us something. They're trying to make it clear to the Sims team. They want fairies. <laughs> okay, there isn't much that could be called fairly odd in this cottage, except perhaps the color scheme, which is definitely not based on a pair of cartoon fairies. <laughs> it's green and pink. You guys, when I was a kid, really and truly obsessed with the Fairly Odd Parents. And I mean it when I say that, obsessed. Okay, let's go place this down so we can take a look at it. I think in Glimmerbrook. We should have put Fairy Cottage on the bingo card. Yeah, well, who knew? <laughs> who would have guessed? <laughs> you couldn't have seen it coming. People do want fairies though. It's like the number one most talked about thing. You hated Fairly Odd Parents, Really, Tilly? Ooh, why? You sing shiny teeth when you brush your daughter's teeth at night? That's so cute! You can't tell me why, it's just vibes. I get it. A lot of the stuff on Cartoon Network, um, I really did not like. I don't even know what they were called, but I thought there were some really scary shows on Cartoon Network. 
so I have like really strong negative opinions of those things, but I like the Fairly Odd Parents. Um, this is cute, by the way. This is really cute. I like how you've like raised up this. This is that bush thing from the Romantic Garden stuff pack, and they covered that weird wall with it, and that looks pretty good. I actually really like it. So around the front, we've got some cute little walking stepping stones. We got a little porch. They also put fairy lights in their porch. That's cute. Yes, Courage the Cowardly Dog. That creepy little thing. That used to, I was like genuinely scared of that. No, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. Oh, this is cool. Oh my gosh. Look at the vibes in there. With the plants for privacy and the like kind of cool pergola they built. Oh, that's really nice. This would be fun to have your Sims come sit out at. I would love, if you had this in real life, could you imagine how beautiful that would be to come sit out here? They even put like the little flag. I don't know if I re really realize, this is the holidays banner from Seasons. I don't think I realized it had this cute pastel swatch. That kind of changes the game for me because I, I think that could work in a lot of my builds just as like normal everyday decorations, you know? Cause that's not too, it doesn't scream holiday. It's just like some cute springy colors, I guess, but that's nice. Um, okay, so in the back, lots of romantic garden stuff. We've got a really beautiful fountain in here. It looks like they sized the fountain down and then put, look at this, the little fairy on top. That's kind of cool. Uh, we also have a little like wishing well back here. You can tell the romantic garden stuff has been used a lot in these builds because people just got it for free probably. A lot of romantic garden stuff going on. I love this too, this little space they built. I like how they separated out areas. Like there's a section for this, we've got a section for this. It's kind of nice. It makes the like the shape of the garden really pretty, I think. Um, okay, and then when you come inside, you walk in, it looks like to the right of the door, we've got a little table and kind of a cute office space. This is a real chest. You can open this in game and you can store stuff in it, by the way. So if your Sims are doing like, a lot of gardening, for example, and you want to like store all of their plants, but you don't want to keep it in your inventory because it confuses you. You can't open this. There's another one. This one you can open too, the buyer beware chest, but both of them are openable. Um, so you can put collectibles in there. Say you're like trying to finish, I don't know, a collection of some sort, maybe like the semi capsules, you could always put them in there or you could put them on the wall, whatever you want. But yeah, you can open that. Same thing. There's like uh, some boxes from Eco Lifestyle, but these are base game. So everybody has those. Um, there's a box from Horse Ranch that you can do that too. Yeah, it's openable in live mode. Um, it basically, it works like an inventory, like how your Sims inventory does, but it's in your game. So if I were you, I'd be careful not to store photos in there though, because photos have been known to get messed up in the storage boxes, but collectibles are fine. Um, so, you know, the fossils you're collecting, frogs, you know, stuff like that. Um, the cow plant berries. <laughs> yeah, if you're collecting cow plant berries. I love this pink kitchen with the, the wallpaper. I don't know if I've ever used this swatch before. It's like a minty stone with pink accents. That's the one from the, ki the, the country kitchen kit. It's kind of giving not so berry a little bit. That's nice. Yeah, the cow plant is base game. Everybody can have a cow plant. If you don't know how to get one, you should Google it because there's a few ways that you can try and uh, make the seed yourself or find a cow plant seed. So you should Google a tutorial. Okay, um, in here we have a living room. I love the rug. <laughs> I like the fireplace with the cow plant on it. It looks like when you go upstairs, we've got two bedrooms. We've got a little, we've got a little primary bedroom with some fairy lights and they also have a fish up here. And then we have a little tiny toddler's bedroom. I love this with all the decals in here. They put tooth fairy stuff. Do you think that the fairy who lives here is friends with the tooth fairy? They like know her. <laughs> so they're, uh, they're teaching the kid about it. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute. Maybe she is the tooth fairy. I don't know. I like this. I, I think my favorite part is this part though. This is really cute. This little section, I love that so much. 
absolutely adorable. Okay, I will say I don't know if anything can be crossed off on the bingo card for this build, but that's okay. I didn't tell you the bingo card is a side quest, so it happens. Not everybody's gonna have something for it, especially now that we've done more. Oh, do they have a grill? They literally have a grill. Never mind. Guys, we're close to bingo again. We need roof plants and a castle. Roof plants and a castle. Okay, next. <laughs> Lynn's lore is next, and they said it's their first shell build. That's exciting. Vamp house. Oh, maybe I did it wrong. Hold on. Include custom content. There we go. Toy shop cafe. It's a cute local toy shop with the best coffee on the second floor. And don't forget about the surprise in the back. What does it mean? What happens when we get bingo? Oh, nothing. <laughs> we, the bingo is really just for fun. Um, it doesn't mean anything. It, we just say, wow, we got bingo. And then we keep going. Them saying surprise at the back. I'm sorry, I don't trust you all. It makes me worry that, oh no. They used a lot of CC. Okay, they had a lot of CC. More CC than I was expecting. <laughs> Instead, it substituted 37 items. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> we'll see what happens. This is the, the little cafe. So it looks like downstairs is the retail store. I think they must have had, maybe they had stuff in here for sale. That's what got messed up. I'm not sure, but you can see most of it. Um, we've got a bunch of dolls and toys. It's like a cute toy store inside. Um, so that's pretty fun. I don't mind it. The thing is, I always tell people like, listen, use CC if you want to use CC. Just bear in mind that if I tour it, I won't be able to see it. <laughs> but the, the build is meant to be for you to be inspired and for you to learn and have fun and practice and do cool builds. So if you like using CC, then by all means use CC. It's still cool. Um, I, it takes a long time to place all these items too. So that's impressive that they put all of this. What CC do you have? A uh, couple of hairs for my not so berry sims. And that's it. Oh, and Peppa Pig. This is the only build CC I have, is this thing. And also I have CC windows that are actually like empty. And I see it when you place it, it's like a complete hole in the wall. And I use that when I do my Sims Unpaused streams, but that's not what you would use for a normal build. Cause as you can see, it's a complete gap hole in the wall. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> toy store downstairs. And when you go upstairs, they have that coffee shop they were talking about. I love how they put actual coffee in here. That's cute. I don't have the St. Jude CC installed right now. No, I, I try to like limit how much CC I have installed because it is distracting to me when I'm trying to do my builds for my videos. I don't use any CC in my videos. So I don't have any of that in my game right now. Um, okay, so anyway, very cute. Very, very cute cafe. They even put a bunch of cupcakes and like stuff in this bakery case. That's so cool. I can't. I can't click on those. You guys, is that raw meat on a skewer? I'm being so serious. Is it raw meat on a skewer? Maybe it's meant to be cake pops or something. Maybe they cook it for you. Maybe they cook it back here. <laughs> yeah, if you place grill debug, you it's like stuck. The grill debug is kind of confusing. Um, Peppa Pops, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I think they're cake pops. They're cake pops, chat. <laughs> Maybe it's for the werewolf customers. <laughs> oh, I like these tables. I, I think that it's fun to... um pretend that they are a bakery item. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, and then in the backyard, we've got what looks to be a huge greenhouse and then like a sculpture garden, which is really pretty. I love that. You forget how many like 
giant statues there are in this game until you go and place them. Most of these, like this one, like this thing, a lot of these are base game, even. Um, I find that quite impressive. Oh, I like how they have the bathrooms outside too. That's kind of nice because then can maximize the space in here. Is there Baby Yoda? <gasps> baby Yoda. Oh my God. And Andy special right there. In the field of flowers, that's stunning. I think that's the surprise. I don't know. <laughs> you think there's a basement? I don't think there is. I think the surprise is just a sculpture garden in the back and Yoda. Okay, I'm obsessed. That was from Lynn's Lore on the gallery and that was their first ever shell. You did a really good job. I'm very impressed. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, it's gonna be It's Kate Plays is their name on the gallery and they gave me two gallery names because they aren't sure which one is right. So we'll test both. <laughs> it's the first one, nice. Oh, these are cool. This isn't the shell. Sorry, I'm looking at your builds. <laughs> My bad. Boba and Bruise, sorry, not the shell. <laughs> this is the shell. It's a two bed, two bath home for a child and their parents. They've got a pool, patio, grill, and play area in the backyard. Uh oh, sorry everybody. I'm gonna drink some water, I yawned again. I'm so sorry. Okay, but, oh no, 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 no. Whenever I, I try and comment love in all caps, I keep turning off caps lock. And then when you put it in, in lowercase, it's like sarcastic sounding. It's like when I type nice in all lowercase, it's like kind of sarcastic. Nice in all caps is nice, you know? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Let's go place this one. Uh, I'm going to San Sequoia. Yeah, love lowercase doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right. Um, we usually do the shells every month and a half, I would say. We'll probably do the next shell about a month from now. Um, and, uh, we did, we started this one about two weeks ago. So that's kind of how it goes. We try and do them around that often. Sometimes we space it out more, sometimes less. Depends what's going on with everything. They've got custom house numbers. When I say custom art off the gallery, this is what I'm talking about. So this person, Jules64, you can see their username in the bottom down here. Um, they like uploaded to the gallery some custom paintings that are like pictures of numbers. So you can use them like a house number outside. They also put a garage over here. That's a smart way of using this side. I love that. Um, is it Biscuit Boys? Oh, that's good to know. I wasn't sure. So when, when we were looking at it, cause most of the food in game, um, the like regular food in game, uh, like the cupcake plates that you saw, those you can pick up and move from debug, but the, the grill stuff, you cannot pick up and move, which is why I thought it was raw meat from the grill. Um, Cause it looks a little bit like raw meat in game and you couldn't click on it. Um, so I, I think it might be, but I'm not sure still. I, I trust you that it is a, a different kind of snack, but um, yeah, the, the grill debug stuff is weird. Like you can get a full on like raw steak out of debug and then you if you place it, you can't move it again. <laughs> so <laughs> um, that's what I think it was, but I don't know. I don't remember really what it looked like at this point. Um, okay, I love the landscaping out here. This is so cute. I like the these parts too. Um, anyway, I'm choosing to believe that it's candy. So <laughs> we don't need to talk about it so much, but. Anyway, back here we've got a little garden set up. We've got a telescope. Telescope. That's maybe for the bingo. We do have some kids toys like marbles. Uh, we've got some swing sets and monkey bars. I love this pergola in the back. Oh my god, that's so cute. And they put a built-in grill and bar with the table. Then we have like a little lounge chair set up by the pool. Um, and then back around here. You guys are kind of making me want to check now. <laughs> Cause I know what you're talking about. I'm sorry, we're still talking about this. Can you get out of debug? I don't know if uh, it's searchable, I might have to find it, but I don't know. I still think it might be raw meat, that particular item. But I don't know. No, cause look, 
these look different in game. I don't know if these are CC or not. It doesn't matter. Why are we still talking about this? <laughs> I think that one was meat. I don't think that it was a food, but maybe I'm wrong. We can pretend it's food. Why are we still talking about this? <laughs> Either way, it's fun. <laughs> okay, inside, oh, pretty color scheme. Oh my gosh. Um, no, okay, so, okay, we're still talking about this. There's a lot of candy that looks like that, yes. There is a Chinese scent that looks like that. I think that one in particular was meat. However, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It can be both at the same time. Um, it's, I think it's all things at once. Why are we still on about this? <laughs> I know I keep bringing it up. It looks like, it looked kind of like the texture of the meat cube from Eco Lifestyle, which is why I said it. Um, but th there's lots of candy on, that looks like that as well. But anyway, here's the build. <laughs> I love this rug fits perfectly right there. That is so good. The rug right in the middle. This is one of the rugs from um, from high school years, size down, and it fits really well in this tiny kitchen. I think that's so cute. And then down here, oh, this stove, the, this whole kitchen set is from the Home Chef Hustle pack. We've got a small living room, a small dining table. We've got what looks like a pantry behind this curtain, which is so cute. Are those bookshelves downsized? No, these are the, the medium sized bookshelves from the Book Nook kit. Um, so you can just get those from the book nook kit. They have one bathroom downstairs, it looks like. And then off here to the side, we've got a bedroom downstairs. I like the cool lighting color they have going on in here. That's pretty. And then you go upstairs and we've got another kid's bedroom. I like the pink and yellow color scheme in here. That's so pretty. Pretty lights and decorations. We've got a little hallway with an easel and another bathroom upstairs. Oh, and there's ads playing. That's bad timing. It's fine. I'll let them run. I shall let them run. I really like the pantry they did. I think that's pretty cool. I don't often do stuff like this in my game because I don't really prioritize like adding this sort of thing into my normal builds because it almost feels like a waste of space. But in this case, because in the shell there was like the one by one box, that is a fantastic way to use the one by one box, you know? Cause like, what else are you gonna put in this weird corner in the shell? It's really smart to try and like sneak in something like that. Cause it's so realistic. Like in real life, you would love to have storage like that in there, you know? Um, I put in my build, my kitchen was here too, but I had the fridge and this little bump out in mine. I like the kitchen a lot. This is cute. Very, very, very cute. Have the same layout really? Yeah, a lot of us did. I think that the front of my house, I think this was the front on my build when I did it. It's fun to see how people do it because it's all the same same box, but we split it up in so many different ways. So yeah, it is kind of giving not so berry mint gen with the green accents. If I were to do a mint gen, I would make it mintier. <laughs> I would make it very extreme. <laughs> but I like this one. It's a pretty color scheme. It's very calming colors in here. It's really nice. Um, trying to do not so very wild to pick mint when there's no mint in game. You'd be surprised. I don't know what packs you have. There's actually a lot more mint than you think. I think that, especially in the more recent packs, like all of them have a lot of mint swatches in it. Um, so, uh, Calexis, you can't redeem the request multiple times. It lets you just do it once. Everybody has equal shot. Um, and there are almost a thousand of them. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it will be very difficult to get to them all, unfortunately. Okay, Lucy Loki is next, and their name is Marvel Lucy on the gallery. We'll go pull that up. Um, okay, but you gotta dig around a lot. When you, when you go digging, sometimes you find stuff that you forget. Like, I realized today that the movie Hangout Pack has some cute, um, some cute minty swatches in it. Oh my God. Did they? They made a castle with the shell. We can cross it off on the bingo card. <laughs> I don't think the last one. Oh, oh, sorry. We were going to cross off custom arch on the last one. And this one, I'm probably going to cross off castle, but let's hold off. Cause we don't know for sure yet. It's also classed as a haunted house. 
Stories pop up over the years of this abandoned castle. Legends tell of a pale woman who seemingly inhabited the castle alone for decades. How this castle was, how this was the case, could one could only guess. Sorry, <laughs> I can't read. A famous paranormal investigator decided not only to enter this place, but actually live in it. He was never seen again, which ended any other ambitions to brave the space. However, those who come close hear whispers of the danger of mechanical beds. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look. It's got the Wild Foxes lot challenge. Um, little 30 by 20 lot. Let's go, take, let's go see it. Um, and telescope. Oh, we only cross off one thing per build. Um, we only cross off the one thing per build usually. So it may have had a telescope, but just one at a time. We'll see another telescope. We usually see quite a few of them, so. People like putting things that can kill their sims. I don't really know why, but they do. So. <laughs> Custom art is harder to find than a telescope, which is why I crossed off that one. Yeah, we're getting an uh, early bingo with this one. Your posture is kind of bad. Okay, I'm sitting with my knees in my chair. Who are you to judge, Nutter Butter? That's their second ever message. <laughs> <laughs> I know! Leave me alone! <laughs> it's nice to meet you, too! <clears throat> okay, everyone. <laughs> Look, I was sitting weird, yes, but I was, like, with my, sitting with both my knees up on my chair. Don't judge me! <laughs> okay, here's our castle. This is actually really cute for a castle shape. That's pretty good. They added some like extra walls out here. We have a dead cow plant. <laughs> um. <laughs> we might want to come back to this because I might need to do some digging to see what's down here. I'm going to look at the rest of the build first. <laughs> Okay, we knew it was haunted. We knew it was haunted. They told us that from the beginning. Okay, so when you first come in, we've got, oh, there's an easel out here. That's kind of nice. You walk in, we've got a little entryway. There's a lot of mess because it's old and haunted. Oh, is that? Incredible medical instruments. Okay, um, we have the formal living room with this nice setup. I love this tall bookcase. They do also have Baby Yoda in there. <laughs> okay, around here in the back, we've got the kitchen. It's leaking something kind of scary and green. I find that alarming. Uh, we do have a bathroom down here. There's some muddy paw prints and stuff in the bathroom on the floor. And when you go upstairs, we have the formal bedroom and a death flower bush, okay. That spider has a medical license? Maybe. Is there a tragic clown in here? Where? 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 Oh, jump scare. Oh my God, this person has everything. <laughs> um, upstairs, we have a huge bedroom. I should have used this bed too in my fancy house. I, I used only the um, Realm of Magic bed in my castle, but that one's pretty good too. And then down here, we have a little bathroom as well. And then if you come outside, we do have a small balcony with a telescope. And down here, oh, down here in the scary area, you come downstairs and they do have, oh my God. They scratched up this bed. Is this how they're killing people with a Murphy bed? Are you like smushing them? Oh no, that's scary. <laughs> that's very alarming. <laughs> okay, we have to think about this because we only cross off one thing per build. They have a telescope. It is a castle. They have the tragic clown. They have graves and it's creepy. My thoughts right now are that 
Castle gets us bingo. So that's probably the best bet. However, I think the tragic clown we are less likely to see again. Because the castle pack just came out, I don't think it's too unlikely that we'll see another castle. But I think it might be a huge mistake to pass up our bingo opportunity. Like we can get bingo right now. Cause what if we pass up this opportunity and then we don't get another one? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm putting castle, I'm putting castle. Bingo, we got bingo! <laughs> I'm putting, oh, I put my leg up my chair again. I'm gonna get bullied for my posture again. Uh-oh, anyway. <laughs> this one was built by Marvel Lucy on the gallery, by the way, if you're looking for it. Um, their name is Marvel Lucy on the gallery. Okay, let us go and see who is next. Uh, we've got Glad Joke is the next person, and it's the same on the gallery as it is on Twitch. And they say they did a farm slash cottage all right, don't even worry about them. We all have bad posture. You're so right, thank you. <laughs> off grid, ooh, limited pack off grid farm slash cottage in Henford on Bagley with space for a horse. Finally, <laughs> finally we get a horse. It's also on a 50 by 40 lot which we could cross off giant lot. I guess it depends. I don't know, horse is also on the bingo card though. So we shall have to see. Um, okay. You'd vote giant has to be 50 by 50 or 64, 64 by 64, you think so? I think 50, 40, 50 by 40 is pretty big, but I don't know. This is really cute. Okay, so we have a really cute little farmy cottage with a pretty entryway. You walk up um, over to the side. It looks like we've got some plants. Uh oh, sorry everybody. <laughs> we've got some plants over here off to the side. Um, come around the back. There's like a little barn. Oh, so you can make the wine and use the, the woodworking table. Uh, in the way back, we've got like a table set up there is an entire horse area back here. So we have like a horse barn and, and this like pasture, I guess, or whatever. And they do also have a cow and a chicken and a cow plant <laughs> and birds. Um, <laughs> and then when you come inside the house, it looks like you walk right in. You've got a small entryway. Uh, and to the right, we've got a little teeny tiny dining room takes you back to the kitchen. Somebody else had their kitchen and stairs in this same place. That's kind of fun. Um, I guess there's only so many ways you can put the stairs because we're diagonals, so. Uh, in here, we've got the living room. They have Peppa Pig. We've got a small fireplace, a piano, some chairs. We got some crochet stuff. Um, this tile in the kitchen is all base game. This, you might be familiar with this floor. It, might look better to you like this. It's a base game floor. When Horse Ranch came out, they gave a big update to a bunch of the base game flooring, like stone flooring. So they added this swatch to it. So it's a relatively new swatch of a base game floor. Um, but that's, it's base game. So everybody has that. They did a bunch of swatches on the stones. If you haven't seen this yet, it's from a while ago, but like, you know how this item only ever had the one swatch? They added a bunch more. This one had the one swatch. They added some more. Um, so they did actually go through and do a bunch of floor swatches back when Horse Ranch came out. Um, not on everything. It's it's primarily on these like stone floors that I was describing. Like this thing used to have just that swatch. Now it's got a few more. So um, this one too used to have just one. Now it's got a few more. I love base game swatch updates. Uh, it's always fun when they do that. Okay, then you go upstairs. And they have a small little hallway with a little art studio. And then we have a bedroom up here with a desk and some beds. And they have one small bathroom as well. This place is off the grid. 
they said. So they don't have, it looks like they don't have lighting, which is kind of cool. It is, it is off grid, right? Yeah. So it's all candles. They have to use like what they can to make it work. You have to kind of live off the land. I really like that. That's cool. And they have a cow plant. So I especially like that. Okay. Should we cross off horse or giant lot? I'm kind of thinking that we go for horse. We'll cross off horse. Okay. They do have a whole horse set up, so. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. I love that. That build, um, oh, I was gonna say it was made by, but let me go back to the gallery and I can show you. This one was made by Glad Joke on the gallery. And the next one we're going to tour is Cow Plant K on Twitch. I have never related to anything more. <laughs> Cow Plant? And the K. <laughs> Their gallery is Tone Man 1224 though. Another cow plant. That's kind of funny. I think there's like generally a lot of people with cow plant usernames in a Sims community though, <laughs> you know? Okay, we have got a quaint off the grid cottage for a farmer and writer. What the heck? Two in a row? Wait, not LOL. I was. <laughs> I'm going to type love in all caps, not LOL. Typing, commenting LOL in all caps is so mean. That's like bullying. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's so bad. No other context, just LOL at your build. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I meant not, I meant love. I meant lots of love, okay. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I have to get rid of the uh, 40 by 30. So let me, let me get rid of them. And also let me kill them. I don't wanna kill them, just get rid of them. Just evict. Yikes, okay. Let's take a look. <laughs> I guess we did call it the yeehaw shell. So the chances of cottage builds are probably pretty high in a challenge called the yeehaw shell, right? So. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are in. It's totally different though. Like look, the style of the building. This is also a cottage. It's also off the grid, but totally different looking from the outside. It's kind of fun how that happens. Um, so in their front yard, it looks like on this patio, we've got, oh, they've got kind of like a moat thing going on. Oh, I love it. That's really good. <laughs> but we've got uh, like a little table. There's a grill outside. Uh, we got a little patio space, trash cans over here. Around this way, we have a ton of plants. Again, it's off the grid. So the more plant variety, the better because you can cook with this better. They do have a cow, they do have chickens and they do have space for a horse. I like how they've tried to build the horse, a thing that kind of matches the cow and chicken spots. That's pretty fun. They've got space to feed the horse. You can fish in your own pond, which is really helpful when you're trying to do off the grid stuff because you can grill the fish that you cook. Grill the fish that you find, I mean, catch. <laughs> um, and then downstairs, when you first come in, I really love the glass on this. That's so good. So it looks like when you first walk in, you've got a small little dining table by the fireplace. They stored some things underneath the stairs. Um, don't make fun of me, Tilly. <laughs> We have a very small like kitchenette almost, just a sink, because they have to cook outside on the grill. We do have a rocking chair, so you can like crochet over here, flower arranging table, a bunch of cat things, which I relate to very much. Um, oh, this is the other half of the kitchen, sorry. <laughs> they do have a fridge and a stove, I told a lie. This is very practical. I have built off the grid houses without a fridge or a stove, which maybe isn't good of me, but they do have a full kitchen, so you can function in here. They've got little paw prints. And then down here we have a bathroom with like a tub, toilet, and sink. Just some casual stuff. Um, when you come upstairs, it's one big like lofted bedroom. I love this reading nook. They put it up on a platform. You guys, this is my dream. Can I tell you, I have gotten Dan to start reading with me at nighttime. I feel like I'm living my dream because I always read before bed, but I've convinced Dan, I've, I've like tricked him into starting to read with me. Um, 
And and uh, I thought you'd be excited about that. So <laughs> it's fun. He is currently reading Percy Jackson because I read the first book again um, for the first time like in years last week, and I got him to read it too. So <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of fun uh, reading it again. I will say that um, he said a lot of things where I was like, wow, you are a 12 year old boy and like, yikes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Like he walks around calling people ugly in that book and it's like, oh my God, please. <laughs> it was like always su like surprising to me. And then it's like, well, he's 12 and this book was written a long time ago. <laughs> but. I used to love that series when I was a kid, so it was kind of fun to reread it. Um, I might read the whole thing again, I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, 12 year olds don't hold back, no. They definitely don't. No, I don't mean Dan. Percy Jackson is 12. The character in the book. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is really cute. I really like this lot. I think this is really beautiful. They also have a balcony up here with like the litter box and some places to sit. They put the scary gnome from the new Ren Pack in here. <laughs> no, Dan is not calling people ugly. Dan does not act like a 12 year old boy. He also doesn't say offensive things. <laughs> Percy Jackson is a 12 year old boy who says things that maybe he shouldn't. <laughs> it's Percy that's the problem. <laughs> okay, I think I may cross off telescope on the bingo card. We do have a telescope in here. Um, that's fun, Strawberry Shortcake, I'm glad. Yeah, it's nice. I've, uh, it's fun to have Dan reading books that I have read recently so that we can talk about them. Um, cause I don't usually talk to people about the books that I read because, um, I don't like to talk about it on stream because then I feel it, like I feel expected to form a, a an opinion and discuss it with thousands of people and I don't always want to do that. Sometimes I just want to keep my things to myself and then rant to Dan about them privately, you know? <laughs> like, it's just, I don't want to, like, have to discuss every bit of media that I've consumed. <laughs> but, anyway. Oh, Dan does too. He asks, we, me and Dan go on a walk every morning, and I update him on the plot of my book. Every, every morning, I'm like, you won't believe what happened yesterday. Um, so. <laughs> that was by Cowplant K. Uh, on the gallery, their name is Toneman1224. I loved it, it was so cute. Um, I'm gonna go on to the next one now so we can get through as many as we can. Um, and the next one is going to be Valley Ford 29639 on the gallery. Um, okay, Yeehaw Shell Challenge. Downstairs we've got uh, one bedroom and two bathrooms. Um, so, sorry, there is a one bed, two bath house. Downstairs is a cozy living room and kitchen with a full bathroom as well. And they've got like laundry stuff outside. Um, look, we can see their in progress build next door. I love seeing what people are working on. <laughs> I'm so nosy. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Um, yeah, we do walk every morning. Um, it's nice. I'm tr we're, I don't get out much, so walking is good, you know? make an excuse to <laughs> get out, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, here is this person's little builds. Ooh, it's got eco stuff on top. Oh, that's fun. I should put like eco stuff on the bingo card. That would benefit you, what, daily walks? Yeah. We started doing it last year and we've been keeping up with it ever since. So, um, take a break from my rotting time to take a walk. Yeah, it helps to have someone to do it with, but you could try to make it like, like nice till you can maybe like, I don't know, start listening to a book or something and then, you know, make yourself go on the walk to listen to it. Or I don't know, try and like incentivize cause that helps you to get started. And I actually like doing it a lot now. So, but you can try and make it like special, you know, audiobook walk, podcast walk, something like that, you know? Um, and that's always helpful, but anyway. <laughs> Glad you have a dog, you wouldn't leave your house. Yeah, see, I, I stay in so much. I only leave to go on the walks in the morning. Sometimes I'll walk past my neighbors. My, one of my neighbors, every time I see her, she's like, we never see you. <laughs> what have you been doing? Like, where, where have you been? And I'm just like, inside. <laughs> but every time 
she makes a comment like, wow, we haven't seen you in ages. <laughs> I do want to walk every day, you know, but that's it. <laughs> but every time I see her, she says it. <laughs> oh, very embarrassing. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. She has a cute dog, so it's fine. The dog is really nice too. <laughs> anyway, backyard of this house. I love what they've got going on back here with like the items for skill building and things. We've got a little hopscotch set up. They've got laundry, we've got a telescope. They've got worms. Flower arranging table, bees. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think she means harm. I don't think she's trying to like call me out. I think she just means like, oh, it's so good to see you. We never see you. <laughs> I think she like is trying to be nice and a lot of my neighbors have lived here for a long time and are all like really good friends um, and so I don't know I'm like the new weird girl Who they don't see and it's like well, what is she doing in there? What is it? Where, where, where does she go? Nowhere? <laughs> like it's, I don't know it's, She doesn't mean harm. She's being nice <laughs> Anyway inside <laughs> Ooh. They've got some like generator stuff too. It's a super eco home. You can like cover all your own power and everything. Um, get your own water. Okay, so inside it looks like to the right we've got a small bathroom. The eco lifestyle bathroom stuff is really funky in a fun way. I like the like the color of this, how it has the cool like thick glass part. Um, never talk to your neighbors. Yeah, my neighbors are very chatty. They, they will stop you to talk to you. Um, which, you know, I'm not very chatty, so. <laughs> and a lot of them are outside a lot because a lot of them have dogs, so they're walking dogs a lot. And one of them works on his car in his driveway all the time. Like he's always out there in the driveway, always working on his car. Um, so I sometimes, you know, you gotta say hi and stuff. Um, that makes sense, Tilly, that they talk to you because you know him forever. Um, you would stop leaving your house if your neighbors talk to you every time. They don't always try and talk for a long time. Um, but <laughs> they don't watch my streams, Amy. And I'm not saying anything bad. Um, if you see a neighbor in your street, you leave. <laughs> it's so funny coming from like my townhouse where I used to live, where I had so many more neighbors and I like shared walls with them. You guys, I never spoke to them. The only time I talked to my next door neighbors, literally the only time, were the two times that I had to ask them to, they, they blocked me in in my driveway. We all had our own driveways in these townhouses and twice they parked, they were having a party and their like friends didn't realize and parked behind me blocking me in, in my driveway. The only time I ever spoke to them was like, hey, can you please move your car? Cause you're blocking me in. <sighs> Anyway, <laughs> but I, I never met them outside of that. <laughs> I think it's like a generational difference though um, and stuff. Um, but yeah, so rude of them. You guys, it wasn't a big driveway. Literally, there was barely space for one car in this. Her car, she was halfway in the road. Like imagine the driveway, I'm gonna do an example. The driveway's here, okay? My car is like right up to the edge. The road is here. She was parked like this, like, like her car was like half in the road. Ooh, what are you doing? You can't park like that. Your car like butting out into the road like this. What are you doing? Who does that? <laughs> Ridiculous, doesn't make any sense. You can't park like that. And this is my driveway. I'm, <sighs> anyway, sorry. It still makes me so mad when I think about it. <laughs> And then when I uh, went over there to ask them to move it, I was like, hey, you're blocking me in. And they were like, oh my God, Madison. Oh, Madison's so drunk. Let me get her keys and I'll move it. And so I was sitting there like, okay, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> um, yikes. <laughs> Very huge yikes actually <laughs> that you were saying that, but whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm totally ruining this person's tour. I'm trying to show their build and I'm totally ruining it. Um, so inside the house, we've got a really cute kitchen. I love the yellow accents. Yellow is like my favorite color, so. No, they meant her. Her name is Madison. I still remember to this day. Anyway. 
and now I'm telling everybody about it, so. Yikes. Um, as a Madison, we don't claim her. <laughs> Please don't drive drunk, everyone. It's really, really important to not drive drunk. Not a joke. Please don't ever do that. I'm literally begging you, and don't ever get in a car with anybody who is drunk. I mean it. It's not worth it. If they have been drinking, don't, don't get in the car. Never, ever, ever. Can we all agree? Yes, we can all agree. Good. Okay. <laughs> um, this is the little dining room. We've got a cute living room. I like the mismatched couches in here too. That's really cute. Um, and then when you go back here, we've got like a cool grill space on the patio. And then it looks like you gotta come outside to get upstairs and you can access the bedroom and bathroom from this way. That is really, really cool. I like the layout of this house. I like the color scheme with this like orangey toned wood and the blue as well. That's really nice. Um, pretty, oh, oh my God, tragic clown, yes. I'm so glad we've played this bingo game very well, chat. We keep saying like, hey, hold off. We'll see another one. And it worked. <laughs> we saw another clown. <laughs> oh, that just made my day. It looks good in there too. Like for real, not a joke. It looks good in there. That's pretty. You never thought you'd see the day. <laughs> but <laughs> in this case, I am into it. Um, okay. So that was built by Valley Ford 29639 on the gallery. Um, that's so annoying, silly Alice. Yeah, I don't understand. When I say they blocked me in, you guys, let, let me see if I can find a picture of like a Florida generic townhouse. Um, Cause everybody literally has their own driveway in this neighborhood. Oh, these are all weird houses. Oh, here's kind of a good example. Okay, this isn't where I used to live, but it's kind of like this. Um, so I show you. But you see how like everybody has their own driveway? There's only space for one car there. This, these people have a wider sidewalk and stuff. But imagine this is like the road starts like right here. And she parked here, like in the road behind me. That's not very smart. And it was weird because you have your own. Anyway, so here I am. Here she was. Sorry, why are we still talking about this? <laughs> Why are we still going on and on? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so the next person uh, whose build we are going to tour is going to be Amy09x. Oh, pick the person Brew suggested because I want to see the Taylor Swift build. Oh no. Is Brew still here? What did Brew want? They didn't give me a name. They wanted a build that Brew suggested. Oh no, I don't even know if Brew's still here. Oh, Brew is still here. What do you want, Brew? We've never gotten blackout bingo, I don't think, Ghosty. We're usually like one away. Literally like one away. <laughs> Riley Page 98 Folklore Cabin. Okay. Let's go see. Oh, I'm ready. Oh no. Are you sure, Brew? Uh oh. Well, there's no way to be certain. We must wait. Maybe it's spelled page with an I. Oh yeah. If there's one thing about brew, there's gonna be a typo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you you'll come to learn this soon. <laughs> the more you watch, you'll notice. <laughs> Oh my god! Sorry! Oh my god! Are they gonna get a notification about that? Do they- please! Do they get notification when I say that? Do they, are they gonna be notified that I typed LOL in all caps? No notice? Are, are you sure? Oh my god. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, good. It's a Henford on Bagley cabin inspired by Taylor Swift's folklore cabin. Oh my, I am very excited about this. <sighs> yeah, the gallery notifications are broken. So I'm hopeful that they won't. I meant lots of love, okay? Lots of love. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, 
okay, okay, here we go. <sighs> Doesn't say the comment, just let a comment happen. Okay, that's fine. That's fine then. We can we can handle that. Oh, this is really cute, actually. I love the mossy roof from werewolves is so good. It really is so cute. Okay, over here we've got like a space for our cows and chickens. We've got some little plants. I love this little table item. That's so adorable. That's really good. Reminds you of Shrek in a good way. Oh, I like that. My two favorite things, Shrek and Taylor Swift. <laughs> Do we count the mossy roof as plants? Oh, that's interesting. Because we do have roof plants on the gallery, or on the, on the bingo card. Do we count the mossy roof? I'm seeing half no's and half yeses. So I don't know. When I say roof plants, I mean when people do like, to be honest, this is borderline roof plant. Because what I'm talking about when people do that, it's, it's, it happens a lot in our builds. Well, they'll put like, on a little balcony like this, there'll be like plants there or there'll be like a rooftop that has an actual garden, but often it's like balconies that have plants. Or you know how that one person a little bit ago, we crossed off something else from their build, but they had kind of like a pergola thing going on where they had built like, oops, they had built like some lines and then put plants on top of that. I don't know, we can do a poll. Moss roof counts as a plant roof, yes or no? We'll let the people speak. Right now, 66%, 61% says yes. It's actually really close. It's kind of a right in the middle. Right in the middle leaning towards yes. 54% says yes, it counts. 56% says yes, it counts. <laughs> I don't know. Moss is a plant. It is objectively a plant on the roof. So I don't know. It's, it looks like it's gonna be a yes. It's a, it's a pretty solid 56%, it's not changing anymore. I'll tell you I voted yes. 55%, 56%, oh, it's going back and forth. Roof plants, bingo again! <laughs> we should let ourselves have this because some of these we probably aren't gonna get. I don't think we'll get the over 200K, so. We might have to change it anyway. We haven't looked inside yet, so we don't know what it's gonna be. But here is the outside, very adorable. And then when you come inside, you walk straight in. We've got, it looks like a little entryway. I love these pictures from Get Together. They're so cute. Um, moss, our beloved. Oh my God, you're so right. We do stand moss. Moss is our legacy heir and the not so very challenge. Oh, I was telling Dan about that in my, on our walk yesterday. And I was explaining to him how uh, <laughs> my not so very legacy heir died. And now Moss is trying to take care of their siblings and Moss is only a teen. And then Dan was judging me. <sighs> He'll never understand what we go through. He was like, basically like, why don't you have the other parent move back in? And I was like, you don't get it. He, it's, it's basically my Sim died because her husband cheated on her and then she died because she was so mad about it. The kids don't want the dad back. He killed their mom. Like, but Dan doesn't get it. And then when, I, when he asked how I was making money, he was like, how are you even gonna pay for the house? I said, dirty plates. And then he said, really? Yes, really? Yes, dirty plates. It's actually extremely effective. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, <laughs> be quiet, Dan. You don't even play Sims. You don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, this way, there's like a hallway and a little dining nook over here. We do have a bathroom. I love this tiny kitchen. This is like my dream. The way it's so small in there is so cute. Like, come on. With the chicken and everything. That's so cute. And then down here, we've got the living room as well. I love the huge built-in bookcases. A lot of this fireplace today, I've, I've probably seen like three or four people use this one. It's the, it's the horse ranch one and it looks really good. I like it. Um, okay, and then upstairs, we've got a little like lofted bedroom and a huge fireplace. Oh, I love these plants too, that's cute. This is nice. 
Oh, Ruby, don't worry. I don't put indoor trash cans in my bills most of the time and I do it on purpose. <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> anyway, um, so here's the exterior. Very adorable, very cute. And I think we confirmed that we're crossing off the roof plants, yes? Loved, absolutely love this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Um, we'll pull it up and then I'll warn you there's ads gonna play in like a minute. So we'll just get this one pulled up and then we'll let the ads play. Rosanna, oh my goodness. Rosanna text, let's go pull it up. Um, oh my God, downtown library. This small downtown library is the coziest hotspot in town. The recently renovated building got a much needed upgrade and now it's ready to open the doors. You are amongst one of the first visitors. Grab a book, a drink, and find a spot and get ready to get lost in the stories while the sun warms up the room and the sounds of the city outside slowly fade away. I love when people write real descriptions. I never do that. I'm like, here's the library. Place it on this lot. <laughs> Okay, I'll let the ads run and then we'll we'll tour this build in a minute. Um, Rosanna is actually a streamer also, by the way. Um, I don't know if she's still here. I know she was here earlier. Um, but if you haven't followed, you should. <laughs> oh, Megan, I'm glad you can make it to the stream today. We have a lot of fun doing the shell tours. So hopefully you all like it. I really, really love the shell tours. I just really enjoy seeing what everybody does. It's such a fun, like inspirational sort of thing to like just look at people's builds and, and be in awe of them. It's very positive, the whole thing. It, like everybody's just talking about how cool the builds are and it's just really nice. <laughs> I really like doing the shell tours. It's really good vibes for everybody. Um, and we get, like we oftentimes get like really cool ideas, you know, like you see people using items in ways that maybe you hadn't thought of or they used like a swatch you didn't realize existed, you know, um, and you kind of learn about stuff that you maybe didn't know, so. And we see all kinds of things. It's so fun how like I built a little tiny, you know, like house in Mount Komorebi. These people made libraries, they made cottages, they made, it's just really cool. So it's, it's fun vibes, it's good vibes. <laughs> um, and I'm stalling because I want to make sure we don't miss anything with the ads. I'll go get this ready to be placed because the ads have like 10 seconds left. We're going to Del Sol Valley. I think it's to go here on this Ward Park lot. Um, we see all kinds of things. <laughs> Death by Murphy bet, you know? <laughs> we see all kinds of things. <laughs> Are you Swish for, for your legacy? Oh, that's cool. I'm so glad um, that you're using it. That's, that's fun. Um, you made a beach house? Oh, that's fun too. I love that. Um, the new swatches on the stone are your new discovery. I'm glad you know about that now, see? Because you didn't realize we had all those extra options. When you don't realize, oftentimes there's items in the game that like you think you don't like because you don't realize that it has a swatch that's better. And so you just kind of write it off. I do that all the time where I like, I don't know, the default swatch is kind of weird. So you're like, oh, I don't like that thing. And you just don't use it. But actually there's a couple good variants and you just don't think about it. So anyway, this is Rosanna's little library in the city. This is so cute. I love the landscaping. These are debug. Um, they're like debug little planter boxes. It looks really cool there. Even this sign that's like, <laughs> don't step in the grass, please. <laughs> I really like it. That's so cute. Um, around the side, we've got some interesting like sculptural details too. I never use these things. Literal sculptures. We've got some vending machines so you can die. We've got some <laughs> picnic tables. <laughs> Chess tables. Oh, the bikes, the bike parking. Ooh, that's really smart. Uh, we used the, the old factory fence from werewolves and put the bikes on either side. I was not expecting so you can die. <laughs> yeah, every time someone puts a telescope or a like a, I don't know, vending machine, Murphy bed, I'll be like, oh, they have a telescope so you can die. <laughs> oh, there's a Murphy bed so you can die. <laughs> it's a, it's an important detail. You need to be able to cover all your bases, you know, woohoo spots, death spots, <laughs> toilets, all of it. You can die from the telescope. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, a meteor falls from the sky and smushes you. It's kind of rare and you do have time. Like if it, it it'll warn you like, what is that falling from the sky? And then you can run inside. Um, but oh, oh, you can die from it. 
It's one of the better deaths. Hold on, let me see. I have a video on my own TikTok of it. Uh-oh. Let me see if I can find it so I can show you. I don't want to listen to her talk, though. So I'm going to leave it muted. Because I don't want to talk to her. She's boring. Watch, watch. Here we go. It's almost time. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Dead. <laughs> it's really aggressive. <laughs> and that is in the base game, by the way. <laughs> that is in the base game, so... It is a little terrifying, yeah. And then the guy in the bike shows up. Anyway, here's the inside of the building. Sorry for the distraction. I forgot about this item too, the club seal. Oh, that's really smart. I forgot it had a book swatch. This is from Get Together. Um, but this is pretty nice for like signs for, for the public, you know? Because you have the cute library sign. I love that. Why so aggressive? It's supposed to be a kid's game? The Sims is not a kid's game. The Sims is rated T for teen. And they, I mean, there's like, some of the woohoo is a little raunchy. It's not a kid's game. <laughs> oh, hi! Thank you for the raid! <laughs> hi, hi, you hate me. Thanks for coming by. We're touring people's, uh, our community's builds from our most recent shell challenge today. So we're taking a look at builds other people made. And also talking about uh, Sim death. So, anyway, <laughs> this is the inside of the library. I love the, the like, layered uh, stair-stepping of the bookshelves. That's so cool. We got some tables so you can sprawl out and work, some places to sit and read. This is so cool, with the bookshelves following the wall. That makes me happy. Uh, down here, we do have a little bathroom uh, and, like, also kind of a kitchenette space here for the employees. Look, 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 they can cook. And they've got a mini fridge. And then you go upstairs. We've got some more seating. I love the books up against the stair railings. That's so cool. They've got board games, book posters, some computers for you to use. Uh, these are the public bathrooms up here. Um, this is really nice. I love the exterior though. I, I think that this shape is so good. I'm really bad with modern builds. I really struggle to like look at a shell like this and and know how to do the the roofing and stuff when it's flat like i'm pretty good at roofing like a you know normal house or like a more traditional house but i'm really i'm really terrible at this style so i think it's fun to see other people do it um and like take inspiration from that you know i can show you mine quick too for the raiders that just came in um so you can see what i made out of it but i turned mine into this <laughs> and they all have the same box it's all the same shell deep down um, but mine kind of looks like that so it's super cute. I love this one. Do we have anything for bingo in this? I'm not sure because we've crossed off most of the things already. We need over 200k, which is going to be hard. Blue, pet room, graves, giant lot, creepy, tiny house, and red. <laughs> when I say blue in all caps, you'll know. It needs to be like really blue. Like blue everywhere. And I wouldn't say that one's blue. Not in that way. But we, we've crossed off probably the most we're going to get, I would say. Um, okay, so the next one we're going to do is Navi Butterfly. And their name is Spotleaf1112 on the gallery. Yours is expensive? Oh, really? That's good. Simsy Elegant Restaurant? Ooh. Ooh, this is, their, this is theirs from my last shell. Not this one, but this is theirs from the fish shell. Not my last shell, it was in 2022. <laughs> the fish shell was a long time ago. That wasn't even close to being my last shell. Uh, this one is today's shell. Uh, it's an elegant restaurant featuring a moat, 
cozy seating, definitely not another word for cramped, <laughs> and an exquisite menu. Ooh. I love that. Let's go take a look. It is a 20 by 20 lot in what looks to be Magnolia Promenade. They have a moat. <laughs> that just made my day. Okay, Magnolia Promenade. Uh, we'll replace the Emporium, shall we? Why no moat on the bingo card? I don't know, because we have seen two moats now. We have seen two of them, so. You just learned what moat means thanks to your castle build? Oh, you know me and my educational content. <laughs> you know me every day teaching people something new. <laughs> A lot of people um, that that primarily uh, maybe don't speak English as their first language uh, have asked about moats though. So it is educational content. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is cool. Same thing with the modern thing. I don't know how people are able to like do this. I don't know how they're able to make it look good. I just am not good at modern builds. I love the water with all this moat around the building and the pretty flowers. That's so cool. And I like these decorative pieces too. That's kind of a fun little detail. We've got like this cool sign in the window, some pretty plants. You come here so you can check in when you first get here. And then you walk inside, ooh. Okay. I really like the lighting and the blue. <sighs> this one, she might be blue enough to cross off blue on the bingo card. It's not even as cramped as I thought it was gonna be from your description. Also, look at this, this huge window on the diagonal. That's so good. Anyway, down here we do have a bathroom. There's two toilets on either side and we've got the kitchen downstairs. That is a nice view for them cooking with the water right there. I would eat her. What, Tilly? <laughs> okay. I know you meant eat here. That's scary, Tilly. Careful. Anyway, upstairs, we got some more seating. <laughs> uh, they have a custom menu as well. We've got some really fancy drinks, it looks like. Some nice appetizers, like shrimp. You're serving shrimp at my restaurant? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We've got like salad and stuff. <laughs> Uh, we got some main dishes, some cute desserts. This is kind of making me hungry. I'm making pasta for dinner tonight. Big day for me. <laughs> the joke, by the way, in case you're new, shrimp is my cat's name. Um, so whenever someone talks about eating shrimp, I say, shrimp? <laughs> you're gonna eat shrimp? <laughs> but it's because there's the cat. Anyway. <laughs> I love looking at restaurants in the Sims because I love seeing people's custom menus. I think that's so cool. Okay, this was built by Spotleaf1112 on the gallery. And I'm saying it's blue in all caps. Bingo. It's pretty blue. I wouldn't even say it's stretch. It's pretty blue. I, I think it could be blue in all caps. So we're looking now for over 200k pet room, graves, giant lot, tiny house, creepy, and red. We have technically seen someone that was graves and creepy, but we only cross off one thing per build. So, cause sometimes a build might have none, a build might have two, like it just kind of depends. We try and do just one per build so we like space it out more, but we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, there are by the way, 985 requests left, <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> we're not gonna get to them all. <laughs> okay, the next per person is a sluggy purple turtle and their name is Miss Purple Turtle on the gallery. Um, yeah, there's a lot of builds. It's a small shell, so there's a lot of them. Um, oh, is this one base game? Modern Desert Resort. It's a base game starter home. The first time they have built either of those and they can reveal they're quite proud of themselves. It's a little bit over 20K lot price, but it's, I mean, 21,000, that's fine. That's still a starter for small families, it's fine. Um, and it's two grandparents and their grandkid living here. That's cool. What a fun idea. Um, you can't look at nearly a thousand bills. You know, no, I probably can't get to them all today. <laughs> 
Even though I would want to. <laughs> I don't think I can. It's a two sim starter. You've got plenty of money for that. That's fine. All is well. Base game builds are cool. It's fun to find them. Um, so this is our second one of the stream. I actually like the, the roofing and this orange stucco that they're using. I don't normally go for that color, but I think that looks really good. I, I kind of am feeling a bit inspired to try and do something with that. Like do some sort of orange base game build. Cause I normally, whenever I do like stucco, I usually go for the lighter colors, but the orange looks better. I mean this in a very kind and loving and positive way, but I'm getting cheese vibes from this build. Cheese, Tilly? Yeah, I don't, I, I never use orange. I think that orange is actually probably my least favorite color. I don't mean that as a dig to this build. I like how this build looks. I, I just don't like find myself gravitating towards orange. So I don't really ever use it in my builds, but it's, this is a nice swatch. I, I'm inspired by it. Okay, so in the back, we've got a very small balcony. They actually managed to fit a decent amount of landscaping for a starter home. So that's pretty impressive. Um, thought it was red. I don't know. I don't like red or orange. I don't know which one I dislike more. I think I, I, think I dislike orange more than red, but I dislike red still, and I have childhood superstitions about red. <laughs> anyway, inside, very cool orange color scheme with the orange flooring and the couches. I like this stone accent wall as well, it's kind of nice. And then you come in here, we've got a small bedroom downstairs, a small kids room, and then the kitchen, bathroom, and office are upstairs, which you don't really see very often. I like how they've kind of like swapped it around. I think that's really cool actually, to have a, a sort of different layout vibe. Um, that's really nice. I like the like all blue, <laughs> all orange. It's actually really interesting. Plus they have a frog. So that's another win. And literal oranges. So I like it. <laughs> Obviously it's small because it's only a starter home, but I like that a lot. That's pretty good. They've, they've very strategically used debug too. Like not too much debug, but the occasional couple things where they can fit them in. Um, Bathroom that window stresses you out. Oh, I guess I don't really feel that way because I grew up in a house that had a bathroom with no windows and I the townhouse I lived in for like five years had no windows in the bathrooms. Um, so it's not that abnormal to me. Obviously it's nice to have a window, like you'd rather have a window, but it happens. Like um, it's kind of normal, especially in like uh, like smaller spaces or like in my case, it was a townhouse. So um, there's only windows in the front and the back. So the inside has no windows. <laughs> it's a long skinny, so <laughs> um, they're not that common to have. It'd be nice to have, but they're not that common. Um, the bathrooms in our house, uh, our, my bathroom has a window. The one upstairs does not, so. The one upstairs is like in between the bedrooms though. <laughs> Got to hide from hurricane somehow. See, <laughs> exactly. You need a solid interior room. <laughs> that was by Miss Purple Turtle, by the way, on the gallery. I don't think we can cross anything off because we're uh, running out of things on the bingo card. <laughs> we're doing our best though. Okay, okay. So the next one is gonna be from Brianna Crystalline on the gallery. How much longer will stream be? Um, about 40 more minutes. I can't stay on too late because um, I have to get off stream at seven in 42 minutes. So that way I can make dinner before Drag Race starts. Please don't judge me. I have a ritual on Fridays and I have to make sure I'm ready. <laughs> this is a uh, Brianna's build. Um, there's something special in the pool. We shall see about that. Anytime someone says that, I get scared. <laughs> Could it be an alligator? Could it be, I don't know, <laughs> creepy? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay, here is what the outside looks like. Oh, I love, they did the fake garage on the diagonal part too. 
That's really nice. Oh, look at this. This is a super cool idea people do. Um, so the house is on a slight foundation. This is a roof piece. They used it so they can have like a, a angled sloped path up to the garage. Obviously it's the same, so it doesn't really work. <laughs> it's just a roof piece, but um, it's kind of cool, right? I kind of like it. So anyway, there's their garage. Um, I'm gonna save the back for last then. So we'll, we'll leave that till the end because it might be a fun surprise. Inside, we've got a little cat spot. That's really cute. This is that weird one by one bump out. So they've got a cat spot in there. I love this dining table and the windows. That is so pretty. And then through here, we've got the kitchen. I like the stacked washer dryer and they have a little door for the pets to get outside. Oh no, that goes to the litter box. There's litter underneath the stairs. Oh, that's pretty cool. So the cats can access the laser litter box. And this one, the laser litter box, your Sims don't have to clean because it like shoots it with lasers and kills the poop. So it, you can put it underneath places. <laughs> I, that pet room is a stretch, but we'll hold off. It is literally a pet room. It looks like they converted the garage into a living room. So we've got like a TV fireplace. We've got a little desk nook here. I like that with the desk in between the bookshelves. Um, and then you go upstairs and we've got one bedroom with some little pet things, cute bed. We've got a little closet even and a bathroom upstairs. Okay, and then when you come outside, you can get out through this little door into the backyard. We've got a chess table. Um, we've got a little patio table, swing set, and <laughs> I was right! <laughs> the surprise in the pool <laughs> is that there is an alligator. The fact that we predicted that is actually really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like this little uh, deck space for the pool, how it's fenced in and like slightly raised up. I think that's kind of cool. It is kind of screaming Florida. I really love that. So this item, this is like a VFX thing. In live mode, you can't see the box. A gator will just occasionally float up to the surface. <laughs> I say there are two pet rooms in this build. There's the cat room under the stairs that is literally a room. And there's also the gator's room in the pool. And therefore, I think we are allowed to cross it off. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we are allowed to cross it off. I'm pretty sure the Sims can just swim through where the gator goes because it's just a VFX thing. It's not um, kind of like how if there were like the dragonflies on ground, you could just walk through it. It's just kind of there like decoratively, um, but it looks really cool. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Um, I'm trying to get through as many as I can. <laughs> uh, the next one that we're going to do is, hey, look at Matt. Hey, look at Matt. Um, that one was by Brianna Crystalline on the gallery. Brianna Crystalline, if you are looking for it. Um, okay. They built a castle recently. That's not for this, but that's pretty cool. We are looking for the possibly include custom content. Okay, I don't know which one's the shell. Simsy Yeehaw shell. Selva Dorada vacation home. Oh, that's cool. We haven't been to Silver Dorada yet today. Let's go see. I'm going out. It is a 20 by 15 lot. Um, let's go see. <laughs> the Gator is base game. That's not from a pack. That is just in the base game. <laughs> Nothing fancy, just in the base game. <laughs> kind of fun, if I do say so myself. Okay, so. When you load into this vacation home, oh, I'm lost. I can show you all those things, by the way. You get them from here um, and you go into this little button, the outdoor water decor, and then press pond effects and then you can go in there. It's all base game. All these like blue squares are pond effects. Um, this is stunning. Are you kidding? The fountain, the pool with the lights strung above it, the lounge chairs, the the fireplace with the table, this outdoor cooking area with the, the pizza oven and the grill. We've got stuff so you could do like the archeology span from the pack. 
when you come into the house, you walk in, we've got a small bathroom. There's like a little coat rack. I love this. This wall hanging with the lanterns in it. Oh, this kitchen is really cool shape too. That looks so good. We've got a really nice table with a, a dining table. We've got a huge living room. That's a cool layout for it too, in the diagonal like this. I haven't seen anybody lay it out this way yet. Um, and then you can access the upstairs from both outside and inside. Um, so you can get upstairs into this really calming color scheme in the bedroom. They've got a little hallway. Uh, we've put a palm tree out here and also a really lovely uh, bathroom and stuff. This is the jungle adventure world um, and it's got a lot of jungle adventure stuff in it. I really like the exterior of this. I love this style of house, but I think like this area, especially with the lights and the fountain by the pool, I really like that. This looks really, really cool. I'm excited about this one. Is there a tragic clown painting? You're kidding. Oh my God, jump scare, there is. <laughs> they did put a tragic clown. That's the right level of chaos for me, is to like, just throw in a little clown, you know? <laughs> is there a hot tub too? Oh, there's a hot tub back here. Oh my gosh, we've got a telescope, an easel, and a hot tub back here. I like how it's like kind of out in the environment and they put the stone one. We also have an avocado tree. That's really fun. I like this. This looks really good. I love the stair side and stuff. I don't think that we can cross anything off. It's not creepy, so. <laughs> Creepy from the clown? I don't know. When I say creepy, we're looking for like graveyards. You know what I mean? We know what we're asking for. We can't be like messing with it too much. It's not fair if we if we mess with our own rules. At least I think so. Um, okay, let's go to the next one. I'm trying to get through as many as I can. <laughs> uh, Beakers and Baking, whose name is Alligator9393 on the gallery is who's next. Um, Oh, cute. Let's take a look at this one. It is a small beach house for a family of four, easily convertible to a rental lot. Let me go place this one down in the cats and dogs world. It looks like it is on this 20 by 20 lot in Brindleton Bay. So we can go take a look at that. Um, okay. Um, Did we get the expensive one yet? No, we haven't found an expensive one. I think I overshot it a little bit by having be 200K. It, the, the build is quite small, so we might have, you know, kind of thrown ourselves off a little bit, <laughs> I would say, <laughs> um, but it's okay. I love the color scheme of this, this light shingle texture outside. And no, the gator can't eat your sim, it's just decorative. It literally, it's, it's, purely vis vis uh, visual, it doesn't do anything. You can even like walk through it probably. Um, okay, so around the back, oh, the two-story balcony, cause look at the view. That two-story balcony is actually really cool. Yours is almost 300K. Oh, I hope we pull up yours then. Cause then we can cross it off the bingo card. Um, so we've got down here, we've got a telescope. Uh, we've got a couple little playground equipment bits. We've got, it looks like a grill and a table. They even have like some kids art things. We've got an actual easel, some rocking chairs. This is in Brindleton Bay, Lavender Hayes. Um, there's usually a starter home here. It's a 20 by 20 lot in Brindleton Bay. And the shell is small enough to be a tiny house. Yeah, it's 95 tiles without um, extra stuff. So as soon as someone classes it as a tiny home on the gallery, then we can cross off tiny house on our build. Um, but no one has uploaded it as a tiny home yet so okay inside the house uh it looks like when you walk in we've got a really cute kitchen and dining nook i like this light blue swatch i know of course she does little simsy and her blue suburbans i kind of forgot that it had this that is a really lovely like beachy color for this build with the i think it's like the color of the wood with that shade of blue that's pretty. Um, it's not a tiny home, no, it's just a residential lot. They have uh, balconies, so that adds too many tiles for it to be tiny. Uh, back here, we've got a small little living room with like the, the net <laughs> decor. <laughs> They've got the boat decor too. I love this back door as well. 
Um, down this way, we've got a really tiny little bathroom and then also a shared kids room, it looks like. I like the pink, the pink and blue is pretty. Um, and then you go upstairs, we've got a small hallway. This is a similar layout to the other one we did recently where they had the stairs this way and then the hallway like this. They've got an interior bathroom and then a really, really nice primary bedroom suite. That's so cute. Um, yeah, tiny house is possible, Cheshire. It's like I said, it's 95 tiles. Uh, max tiny home is 100 tiles. So you can, in fact, do a tiny home with this shell. I wouldn't put a lie on the bingo card. <laughs> Don't worry. We made a tiny home possible on purpose. Um, this is cute. I like the layout here. I like the wooden doors as well. They're very beachy in kind of a fun way. And this bed, if you're wondering, it's from the rent pack, the new four rent pack that just came out like a month ago. I think my favorite part of this is the two story balcony and the outdoor staircase though. I think that's really cool. I do not think that we can cross anything off on our bingo card, but that is okay. Um, I'm gonna pick the next one and then annoyingly ads are gonna play again. So we will have to fix that. Uh, we'll wait and come back and do it in a minute. Um, the next one is going to be Rex the Puzzler. Um, however, I'm gonna let the ads play first <laughs> and then we'll pull them up. They haven't started yet, um, but they gave me two usernames. They aren't sure which one it is. So it's this one. Okay, good. So we'll have this ready. This is the Yeehaw shell. It's not got a description. It is 100,000 simoleons though. So that's pretty good. It's on a 30 by 20 law, which is not big. Yours is technically still a tiny home, but you converted it to apartments, so would it still count? I don't think so. I think it has to be uploaded as a tiny house for us to count it. I think that's kind of the rule. On the bingo card, it's okay. Like, if we never get blackout bingo, usually, we've already gotten quite, we have bingo like this way. Um, we got bingo this way, that's two. Bingo this way, three. Um, we're close to bingo this way. I'll be four. So we've actually got quite a few bingos. Um, we don't usually cover them all. There's always some that are harder to find because you look at this, right? Like a grill. You see that a lot. You know, a lot of the bills have had grills. Not everybody is going to have red, giant lot, graves, creepy. Um, it's rare that we get them all. Oftentimes, like closer to the end of the stream, we'll say like, hey, you know how we saw that grave house earlier? Because normally we just cross off one per build. But like at the end of the stream, if we haven't crossed off graves, we did see a house that had graves. We just crossed off something else for that build, but we can cross it off like towards the end if we don't see another one. It's kind of my thought process because um, we usually try on purpose to cross off one per build. Because the thing is like sometimes um, people will have something that has like five bingo spots, but the next person has zero. So it's just like, it's all kind of, I mean, it's randomized, right? So you can't control it. <laughs> it can be anything. Um, but you got one little phone company ad and no ads for scary movies or games. I'm glad you don't deserve to have a scary movie or game ad. <laughs> that would be bad. Um, what's considered a giant lot? I would say 50 by 40 and up. Um, but chat was saying 50 by 50 or 64 by 64. So we don't know yet. Um, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> uh, this one is a 30 by 20 lot in San Sequoia. I like the color of the exterior of this. Um, so let's go see it. Haven't gotten any ads today. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm really sorry that sometimes like scary movie ads or like horror game ads play on my stream. I can't control what kinds of ads play on my stream. I, I like it's not really up to me. <laughs> it just plays random stuff. Um, and a lot of the money that gets spent in advertising on Twitch, um, to put it bluntly, we are not the average Twitch demographic. So people aren't out here trying to advertise to us, usually on Twitch. It's like the straight men <laughs> that they're trying to advertise to. <laughs> and um, I would say that the vast majority of, of the people here are the opposite of that. So the girls and the gays typically, or who watches sim streams. So, um, <laughs> um, they, we don't really fit in with the average Twitch user. <laughs> there's obviously a lot of, there's men here, there's straight men here. It's not the majority though, um, which is rare on Twitch. Uh, it, we have a very uniquely high percentage of female viewers compared to the average Twitch stream, which is like an objective fact. Um, 
there's not a lot of gaming audiences that are this way. Obviously our community is, a lot of the Sims community is, the cozy games community is, but that's not like the majority on Twitch at all. So, um, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, here is this build. This one is by Rex the Puzzler uh, on the gallery if you're looking for it. I love that they have a garage. I love the driveway and stuff too, that's so cute. Um, so this is the main shell. We've got kind of a cute little front porch it looks like. Um, and then around the side, we've got a side door and like a side yard with a grill and some bikes. We've got some kids stuff like this. Um, in the back, we have worms, plants, <laughs> monkey bars. I feel like this lot is not safe. You know what I mean? With the, it's not their fault, but it's like this lot in particular, the kids shouldn't be swinging on monkey bars with the drop off, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I always think that. It's a cool spot though. I like how it goes up against the cliff. This is a fun place to build. I, I like to build, um, we did our last shell. I did like a um, townhouse shell and I built that here on this lot. Um, it was pretty cute. I liked how it looked up against the, the water, so. Okay, so when you come inside, it looks like when you walk in the front door, we've got just to the right, a small bathroom. They've made a custom shower. That is so cool. They put like the glass and stuff in and, and use spandrels to have like a cute custom shower. Um, and then they've got the toilet and the sink right there. We've got a really nice kitchen. I love this dark green wall. Also, hi dad. I didn't see him, but I see everybody saying sup, so he must be here. <laughs> uh, we've got a little dining room. I love the coffee nook too. That's cool. Little coffee spot right by the stairs. This is that weird one by one bump out. It's always hard to know what to do with that, like in these weird one by one spots. So it's kind of fun to have some things like that. They did put some kid toys and also these cute cubbies underneath the staircase. I need to do that more often because these look really cool underneath the stairs with the shelves built in. I really, I really, really like that. That's adorable. And they've got a nice living room back here. And then it looks like when you go upstairs, we've got two bedrooms plus laundry. We've got a washer dryer, the primary bedroom with some storage and stuff. They even have some craft supplies. And then we have the little kid's bedroom. Um, yeah, yesterday was my dad's birthday. Um, so uh, thanks for being nice to him for it. <laughs> um, and everyone is saying sup because when my dad comes into chat, he types sup every time and then everyone else in the chat types sup back and now I can almost guarantee it he's gonna say something like what because he's gonna hear us talking about him but not catch the full thing and then say what yeah every time if you look at my dad's chat history it is almost certainly him saying sup and then what sup and then what non-stop sup what <laughs> he said it he did it. he just did it Every time, without fail. <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious to look at his chat history now. <laughs> Hold on. Um, his most recent messages. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you guys, look at this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Pull it up. Sup, what? Sup, what? Nancy Landgrabber is the richest sim. What? <laughs> Sup. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> no, you can't see your own chat history annoyingly. I can see your chat history. Um, but most people, you can't see your own. I know that kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> land grabber. <laughs> Sometimes he says wait as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for making fun of you, Dad. It's literally your birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's funny. The people like it. It's kind of iconic, you know? Um, anyway, here's the kid's bedroom. It's kind of space-themed, which is really cute. I like the little space bed and the space stuff down here. Um, you managed to fit in a lot on this lot. And then down here, uh, downstairs, we've got what looks to be an art studio in the garage, which is also really nice. They've got like music, they've got some lights and stuff set up. They've got the photography equipment and the painting equipment. That's actually really cool. Even down to like this stuff where they have some tools set up on here. I really like that. Fun. Garages are fun. 
we need to make more effort to put those in our builds because it always is so useful. I, I filmed the speed build for the blue Suburbans today. I'm going to post it on Sunday. And I was talking in it about how useful the garages are because you can just put like art studios, you can put the like science equipment, you can just use it for so many things. Um, JJ, you can add like uh, exterior buildings like that. You can't touch the main shell though. So if the garage was touching the shell, then it's a no. But when it's detached, then it's fine. Does that make sense? Um, okay, let's go to the next one. Um, we shall find the next person to raid. To raid? <laughs> to, to tour. We're gonna go to I'm the Anxious Penguin on Twitch. Uh, their gallery is IC4 Bass. Okay, Yeehaw Shell Challenge. Um, oh, that's why I don't upload from this lot. They said, I hate this game. The, this, these poor, this poor person and they're trying to upload their shell and the lot is just ruined because of the stupid tree. It's not their fault. That's just how the, the lot is. Um, oh, it's their F Frank Lloyd Wright Pacific Northwest inspired home. Ooh, that's cool. And it's way outside of their comfort zone and involves terrain manipulation. Let's go check it out. Uh, this one is also in Brindleton Bay. I always forget if it's this lot or this lot that has the weird tree in the way. I think it might be this one, but we'll find out. It doesn't matter if it's wrong. I don't build out here very often because the laws bother me clearly. So, <laughs> oh, we'll be surprised when we find it. We can't even see what the build looks like yet. So, oh, this would be the right lot. Look. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> I was just looking at this tree. This might not be the right lot. Doesn't matter. You can still see it. <laughs> wow, guys, a great gallery photo. Thanks to The Sims 4. You can really see the build. Um, <laughs> it's really helpful. <laughs> the build is actually really nice, though. Um, this is beautiful. I love what you've done with the windows and stuff. I like totally get the vibes that you're going for. Um, Ooh, casual night. Just so you know, I'm not trying to call you out. Um, you're probably not even listening to me. Uh, don't go to different streamers chats and tell people to go watch you. It's not a good way to get viewers because people will think that you're being rude. So they won't wanna like go into someone's chat and being like, come watch my stream. No one's gonna be like, okay. <laughs> Usually they'll be like, ooh, yikes. So best practice to not do that. Um, just chatting like normal and making friends is a better way to get viewers than by uh, promoting yourself in somebody else's chat. Usually it's kind of like a no-no. Self-promo is like seen as really rude on Twitch. Okay, anyway, <laughs> they've got a really beautiful pond set up down here. I struggle a lot with, oh, is that the game glitching? That's not their fault. That's the game being weird. Um, but I struggle a lot with terrain tools. So I'm very impressed by what you've done here. I love the stilts it's on. We've got this kind of cute walkway. So you come up this way, you can access this little deck space and then you could go inside. Um, when you first walk in, we've got a little chest table entrance and the staircase. I like how you've put some storage underneath the staircase too. That's kind of realistic. Um, and then down this way, we have a small kitchen. I love the layout of that. We've got a little bathroom and you raised up the shower. So it's like separate. This is a cute spot to work. Imagine sitting here to do your work. That's my dream. That is my dream. Hey, Pancake, thanks for the raid. Um, we are we are currently we're doing some shell, shell tours uh, of some builds done by the community. So welcome in. Um, oh, look at this! The dining table it has it's open to the ground. I, oh, I wonder if that's why it's doing that. That is unbelievably weird. Look at that glitch. So so the floor tiles, the glass floor is why the game can't figure out the... This looks so cool though, I don't care if it's bugged, but that's really strange that it's doing that to you. Huh. I mean, we're learning a lot of things. We've encountered a few glitches today. <laughs> uh, we've encountered a few glitches today, but I mean, huh, it's a cool layout. Imagine sitting there to eat, come on the view. That is the dream. Okay. So upstairs from here too, we have like kind of a lofted upper bedroom. 
uh, really big open space and they have two balconies up here so you can use this telescope so you can die and then you've got over here some little planter boxes and a place to sit i really like what you've done with this it's really cool i've not really seen anything like this in the sims um it's it's fun to like try and do builds inspired by real life architects and stuff that's really cool um, I like it a lot. That glass floor piece, by the way, if you're looking for it, this is from Island Living. It's an item called Crystal Clear. It's literally an item in the game. Um, you can put it anywhere, uh, and it's a flat glass piece. It's really cool, right? Um, okay. I think we cannot cross anything off of Bingo with this, sadly, but that is okay, because it's still really cool. <laughs> it is a very cool build. Um, I think I'm gonna go try and pull up the next person to raid. To, oh my god, I did it again. To tour. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, the next person is going to be Possessed Plant, and their gallery is Peanut Butter 19. Let's go see. Now Dad said wait again. Wait for what? <laughs> Do you have a question? <laughs> Oh, are you telling me to wait and not raid? Maybe that's it. Who knows? Okay, this is the Yeehaw Shell Challenge. It's a father and son's farm, complete with multiple selling points, selling stalls, and a picnic area. Play tested and it all works. And it's 50 by 40. I've been trying to tell you guys that I think we should count 50 by 40 as a giant lot for the bingo card. So, <laughs> I think perhaps we should you think that counts okay i agree for this size house it's only a tiny house so i think it works <laughs> okay here's what their outside looks like this is actually really cool it's a huge farm they're doing like a ton of selling with the stalls they've got all this wool uh we're selling eggs <laughs> I wish that there was a better way to sell the eggs in The Sims, because just, like, selling an individual egg for $10 is wild. <laughs> it's just like, do we, can I interest you in one egg? <laughs> I wish they had, like, cartons or something for the game. That'd be kind of cool, but anyway, I get it. I get it. I like the produce they've got as well. That's so fun. Oh, there's Yarny. We also have, uh, these are like little pet treats, animal treats for the cottage living stuff. We've got a llama out here. There's a phone booth and a sign. You get one egg. <laughs> I mean, have you seen the prices of eggs these days? Jeez. <laughs> they are special eggs though in game, I guess. This phone booth makes me irrationally angry because to me, this is the biggest missed opportunity woohoo spot in the entirety of The Sims 4. Why they did not make a woohoo spot in this phone booth, I will never understand. I am still mad at them for that. It's just there. You can't do anything in it. It's just there. And they should have made a woohoo spot in there. It would have been really good. It would have been perfect, actually, dare I say. And no. <laughs> yeah, every time I see it, I rant about it. I'm still mad. And the, the, um, so they have the shed here. Yeah, this thing. This is cool too, but should have been the phone booth. Should have been the phone booth. Um, you can make it blue, yeah, if you want to. It's off the corner of the lot, so hold on. Let's see if I can scoot it for you. You can make it blue. Okay, anyway, sorry, I'm distracted. Here's the build. <laughs> they have a lot of fun things. They have like the wishing well out here. Um, we've got a pond in the middle. There's a lot of ducks and fish and stuff in here too. Uh, over this way, it looks like we've got some playground equipment and some places to sit and prep food and everything. Um, you come this way, we've got their mailbox and the bike. We have a tree house, some kids stuff. We've got like the toddler things and the swing set. Uh, over here, we have some more like working stuff for them, like the gardening equipment and the woodworking table. We've got a ton of farmland and all of the animals out here. There's another pond for the animals. Um, I really like how they have the two cows and they have a bunch of chickens. And then when you come up closer to the house, this is the main actual building. So when you come in, we've got like the flower arranging table and a bunch of cute stuff outside. There's so many cute gardening clutter items. Um, we've got like this this one, which is from the, the Blooming Rooms kit, right? Am I making that up or is this the eco lifestyle one? She's lost, I don't remember. 
doesn't matter. It's cute is what it is. I like it. <laughs> They've got all kinds of cute stuff. Um, and then you come inside. We've got, it looks like a small entryway right here where you can go upstairs. Agnes Crumplebottom has set her purse down. <laughs> Agnes Crumplebottom is one of the only Sims that my parents know the name of, by the way. That one is eco. Okay, this one is eco lifestyle. The other one is from the Blooming Rooms kit. The phone booth is not debug. It's an item. It's like a decoration though. Um, my parents know Agnes Crumplebottom, Nancy Landgrab, and Eliza Pancakes. And probably Bella Goth, but they always forget about her. Um, but my dad only knows about Eliza Pancakes, and he always tries to call her Lisa Waffles, Liza Waffles. He always gets it wrong, but he's close enough. Like, you get what he's trying to say. <laughs> Here's the bathroom. <laughs> They've got a small toilet sink and litter box. Uh, back here, we have a huge kitchen. They've got laundry in the little nook and a ton of cabinet space. Uh, in here, we've got some cat things, some pet bowls, and we have this really cute living room area. Um, and then you go upstairs. Oh, they know Vlad too, for sure. They for sure know Vlad. Um, and here we have the living room, or no, living room, the hallway. What am I saying? I've been talking too much today. We've got the hallway. <laughs> we've got a little like uh, bookshelf in the nook. We've got a kid's room. A little bathroom space and another bedroom down here and another bathroom. Oh, wow. They managed to fit in two bathrooms upstairs, both en suites. That's pretty good. For a space this small with the two bed, two bath, there's actually, it's three bath. Two bed, three bath. It's so interesting to me to see how people split up their floor plans. I always find it so cool because they're basically unrecognizable. Um, like this is completely unlike any of the other shelves that we've seen so far. I like the gray colors in this bathroom. All the bathrooms are different too. Normally when I do bathrooms, I just have them all be the same across every single build. <laughs> I'm terrible for that. But this house, it seems like really big compared to what mine felt like, I feel. I don't know. Very cool. I'm crossing off giant lot, I've decided. It's a 50 by 40 lot. <laughs> and I think we probably have time to do like one or two more if we if we go at a reasonable pace. <laughs> um, so let's try and get through a couple more of these. Morg Simmer, oh my gosh. Morgan Jones 181 on the gallery uh, is Morg Simmer on Twitch. Um, oh, Tom Ronnie Small Family Home is in the new pack. Um, they use the rent stuff. We haven't seen much of this style today yet. So this is kind of fun, it's a 20 by 20 lot. Let's go and take, oh, uh-oh. Oh dear. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, we're fine, okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Please make next shell do on a Friday or Saturday, please. Um, like, like, are you saying it's good what we did this time? or what, because um, we did that this time. So that was close, that would have been bad. The game's being a little dramatic today, it seems. <laughs> being a little bit strange here today. <laughs> okay, here's what their build looks like. I love the build style from the rent pack. I just think it is so pretty. The roofing and all of the details. This is a good time to to use this build style for the shell as well because you've got some like really nice, you can like use the trims and stuff to make the roof look cool even if you can't do the best roof shape because you're stuck with the shell. It, you can do a lot with the special roof trims. I like that they did that. It's pretty nice. Um, so here's the front. We've got some beautiful tropical landscaping. Um, around the back, we've got a little hot tub and a sitting area and a lot of landscaping and plants and stuff. Um, we've got a grill back here. Does it count as red? I don't know. People in chat are saying it does, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, inside, we walk into like a nice entryway. We've got some storage on the wall here, a little table. This table bugs me so much. You see how its footprint is quite big? Um, it has like the fold to tile box. Sims do not understand. Normally with items like this and the Sims that are like smaller than they look, uh, to give an example, you can think about like a plant. The plant, I mean, this one is probably a bad example, but anyway, it's got a huge footprint. The Sims, they can't stand here like you might expect them to. They have to go around it. So if I put this like here, your Sims couldn't walk through there, even though normally with like any other table, they could. 
Bad. Bad. Yes, I'm not kidding, Dika. Footprints messed up. Makes me feel sad. I learned my lesson because I tried to put this in a hallway and they couldn't go, they couldn't walk past it when they normally would be able to. That one should have a footprint like this where like they can walk past this, but it looks the same, the green box, but this one, they are smarter to go in it. Um, isn't that a vanity? I mean, kind of, but you can, I mean, you can use like a hallway table. It's from the rent pack, yeah. Um, so in here they have a small bathroom. We've got a separate toilet space and a tub and a sink in here. I love the kitchen. The new cabinets from the rent pack are so good. <laughs> I really like them. I really, really like them. Um, I don't know what happened here, but don't, it was, don't blame them, okay? It happens. Maybe that was an accident. They placed it again by accident and didn't delete it. It happens to the best of us. No judgment. They've got a second bathroom downstairs as well. <laughs> um, and then back here, we've got a small living room area too, which is pretty cute. I like that. And then you go upstairs and it looks like we've got two bedrooms, a small kid's bedroom and then a primary bedroom with a little, I like this little bump out spot where they have the dresser. That's cute. Um, and then in the, we looked at the back already. Okay, good. Um, I think we can't cross off anything from this one. I think our hopes of blackout bingo, they died with us, but we're going to do one more build, I think. Um, I'm so sorry that we can't get to them all. Like I was saying to you guys earlier, there's literally like 980 requests left. <laughs> um, and so despite my wildest dreams and best abilities, I, we just can't do it. It's just, you can't do them all. Um, we're going to go to Caden Locks next. Uh, their name is W Loxia on Twi on the gallery. Sorry. Um, oh, spellcasters. Um, and then we can go uh, and tour this one. This person has been commenting on so many builds. The kids say fairies live here. Well, their parents have a bit of surprise for when the kids become teenagers. They're all spellcasters and there's some rooms in this house that the kids aren't allowed in, including the greenhouse. But the parents have been preparing it because the oldest is very soon allowed to see and learn getting wands and books ready. Oh, that's cool. I like that idea of the kids don't know yet, but they're gonna learn soon. That's lore. Okay, 30 by 20 lot. Um, we'll go check it out. And I just want to emphasize again, I know that like the shell, not being able to tour your shell makes people sad. And I'm really sorry. Like my intention isn't to, to do this and like upset anybody, you know, I always want to do these shells and, and like have people have fun and like have the takeaway be like good, positive inspiration and not you being upset that we couldn't see yours on stream. Cause realistically we couldn't see most people's on stream, you know, <laughs> there's been so many that we didn't get to see. We just never will be able to. So I don't want to let that like discourage you or make you feel bad. That's never the goal. Um, the goal is to have fun and to be inspired and get ideas and like support each other. Um, and it's just not, our, our community is unfortunately just too big. Like there's thousands of people here. So um, there's only one of me, <laughs> you know, like we can't do too much. So. Um, we do have a Discord server. There's a channel for the shell challenge in there. And if you want to share screenshots, you could totally do that because I would love to see your screenshots in the Discord server if you haven't shared them. Um, look at the landscaping on this, by the way. The flowers are absolutely beautiful and they did terrain tools. Um, no, Alice, listen, don't worry. A lot of people don't do landscaping. It's uh, it's not uncommon. Like not everybody's, like people are obviously all at different le comfort levels with building. Um, so don't, I don't want you to see these builds and then feel bad about yours either. Um, Cause like the, every build is good in its own way for different reasons. Like maybe the landscaping on this one is unbelievable. Maybe your floor plan is perfect. You know, like everybody has different things that stand out and are really cool about their builds. So don't, don't use this as a chance to like tear yourself down, okay? The goal is never for you to like look at this and feel bad. It's it's meant for you to like feel uplifted, you know? <laughs> look at your own strengths. We all have our strengths. Um, and we're all learning, you know? Like um, it, it's not easy to build, so. <laughs> I am obsessed with this landscaping though. I mean that when I say it. This part with the glass roof, are you joking? Look at that in there with the crystals. <gasps> Look at how the lighting looks shining in from the roof like that. 
Oh my god, that looks so cool. I like how they did this. These are debug from uh, the Realm of Magic pack. They put like the glowy stuff in the crystal, so they're glowing. That's really cool. We've got some like glowing fancy mushrooms. You could put some more of the magic plants down here. This landscaping must have taken ages. <laughs> we do have a spot for our trash cans back here. Um, and they've kind of filled in plants through some pathways and stuff so you can walk around and use all of it. This is the marbles mat from the new pack, which is kind of cute. Um, let's go on the inside of the house then. So it looks like you walk in here uh, and we've got a small living room. Crystals again. <laughs> I like how they have the bookshelf kind of like a divider. That's pretty cool. Uh, and we have a nice small kitchen area. Fun little pro tip, this reddish swatch of the Realm of Magic pack, if you have vampires, the vampires reddish swatch, there's only three swatches on this, but the vampires reddish one kind of matches. Annoyingly, there is not upper cabinets that match the Realm of Magic ones, um, but that does. You think it's red? It is pretty red in there. Bingo! <laughs> I think we can cross off red. I think we can cross off red. It is pretty red in there. There's a lot of red. Red, 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 red. We can cross off red. Red, come on. Okay, I like this weird bathroom shape too. I love when you get forced to do like really weird shapes in shells because we have this kind of weird diagonal. I love that. <laughs> We've got like a primary bedroom down here with uh, some bookshelves, a lot of cat stuff. They've got a uh, cat tree here in the bathroom. Um, it looks like that's the front door. Okay, so when you go upstairs, I think the staircase must have gotten messed up. Maybe the staircase used to be here and it got deleted. I wonder if the staircase went around and above these. Sometimes that happens, um, stuff doesn't download right, but I wonder if their staircase was like, hold on, I'm gonna see if I can fix it. What am I doing? Incompatible with terrain constraint stair, oh no. I can't put it back because the terrain's not flat. Don't worry, they have a staircase right here, okay? You can see where it was supposed to be. They have one. <laughs> I can confirm, I can confirm they do have one. Um, okay, and then up here we have a little bathroom and we have magic room. We've got like the cauldron and stuff in here and then the kids have a shared room. Look at, they've got all their fairy posters. That's so cute. <laughs> Everybody wants fairies so bad, you guys. We've seen like four or five fairy themed things today. Everybody, they want it so bad. They've been asking so bad. <laughs> that is like a huge theme of today's video is there's been so much fairy stuff. Um, my dad just gifted subs multiple times. Well, that's really nice. You didn't have to do that. He gifted like 15 people a sub. Thanks, dad. <laughs> that was really kind of you. You totally didn't have to do that. Thank you for doing that for them. Um, yeah, he knows how to do that. Dad, just so you know, if you're on mobile, don't do it on mobile. It's cheaper on your computer, okay? <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I don't think he did do it on mobile, just in case, just in case. Um, push some buttons. <laughs> You figured it out. That's very cool of you. Thank you. Um, I love this build. This is really cute. I think we ended on a good note. That was going to be the last one today. What I will say, um, so we, we definitely saw a house that had graves and a house that I would call creepy. They were the same ones, but I crossed off a different thing on the bingo card for that build. But now that we're done, I think we can cross those off. The only things that we didn't see were a tiny house and a house over 200K. And I am certain that people built stuff for that. I'm actually kind of curious. Um, let me look, Simsy Yeehaw shell. Let me look at the lot type of tiny home. Um, Cause people built them. We just didn't like randomize one. Look at how many there are. We just got unlucky that we didn't come across one cause people built tiny houses. <laughs> like look at how many people built. <laughs> There's like loads of them. <laughs> When I say tiny house, it's because there's a tiny house lot type. Um, that's what we're talking about with the tiny house thing. It's rigged. We got scammed that we didn't get to see one. People did build one though. And then um, 150K plus. What? 
Sulani Resort, 206k. That's 189. 360 for a bunch of castles. You see, people built this stuff. We just didn't get lucky enough to spin, um, like to find their name. Um, but I say we can cross those off. <laughs> we got everything. <laughs> I think we found it all. Um, that's really cool. It's always so fun to see what you all build. Um, obviously, uh, we did not even come close to getting a chance to see everybody's build. Um, there's a lot more than we ever got a chance to, to go through. Um, there's more than are even in the redemption list today because not everybody that built one is here, you know? And not everybody that built one wants to be toured. <laughs> so there's a lot more. There's probably over a thousand builds that were done for this shell. Uh, and that's really cool. It's cool that we got a chance to see so many of them um, and that you all hopefully had fun with this shell. I actually, whoa. I like that one. That looks cool. Um, I actually really enjoy doing these. It's fun for me to build them and it's fun to do the tours. We just, they're all so different. Like we've, we've seen so many different cool things. Um, I usually do shell challenges about once a month. Uh, I don't know when we'll do one next. We can maybe try and do one. How about like close to Valentine's day? And we call it like a, that's not exactly a month away. It's a couple weeks away, but we could try and call it like a Valentine's shell or something. Um, so we can have a, a theme. We can do it in a couple weeks, probably. Um, that might be kind of nice to do. Look at how big some of these are. They, people that, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> people that do the big ones, they oftentimes place the shell multiple times. Um, it's kind of cool, but there's so many. So thank you for participating. Hopefully you all had a good time with us today. And I'm so sorry that I didn't get a chance to tour like all of your builds. There's just not enough time, you know? There's so many and so many of us. Um, so tomorrow on stream, we're gonna do some building, I think. Uh, I'm actually kind of inspired by the idea we had earlier to do like some sort of uh, renovated factory kind of vibe with like the industrial loft kit and like get to work and stuff. Uh, maybe some werewolves pack. So let me know if you wanna see that because we can try and do that tomorrow perhaps because I kind of like the vibes. Um, and I am gonna go and probably find somebody to raid if that is okay with you all. I'm sorry to run so fast, but I have to make dinner before Drag Race starts, as we have discussed. <laughs> I have Friday night plans, okay? <laughs> it's really serious. Um, annoyingly, there are ads playing, which is like kind of bad timing, but oh well. Um, oh well, it's fine. Um, I'll hopefully it'll stop in time for us to be able to, um, oh my gosh, I know where to go. There's a streamer called, uh, Jen McAllister who I have, oops, sorry for unmuting her, who I have loved for a long time. You guys might know Jen X Pen on YouTube. Um, she streams on Twitch a lot now and she's playing Sims. She's playing, uh, it says making 1 million with no job. She's going to do rags to riches. You know how I feel about rags to riches. <laughs> So let's go over and say hi to Jen. Um, please be nice for me. Uh, and I will hopefully catch you all tomorrow for some building in The Sims. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, okay, bye. Say hi to Jen. Bye. And stop the...